Hello guys, we're here with E3, um, E3 2020, the games for change. Now, so, this is you, actually very different from anything that we've done before. Did you remember to unmute me? Um, y yes, yes I did. Okay, okay good. So, this is actually <laughs> very different from anything that we've done before. Check this out. When you, let's say that you are not logged into the whole thing. Yeah. This is what you see. Games yeah. for change. Okay. You, you can just, it's just a regular conference, right? You click yep. on it. Okay. You have to register for it. The Virtual Games for Change Festival. Why do you have to register? And it lasts for two days. It's Why? a two day long stream. Why? We're gonna be on the couch for two days. No! <laughs> you register? Man, this is dumb. I'm not fucking working for two days. They're just doing this shit because they know I'm not yep. working. You click register. You have to choose, it's, it's free this year, but you have to choose what type of ticket you want, like it's a real thing you're going to. Why? Go to checkout. Oh, so in, why did you choose student? Wasn't there just a regular one? I don't fucking one? care. <laughs> All right. You should have chosen a press one. <laughs> they, 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 you, put, you put in your information and then you sign up. Okay. When you do this, you are now logged into the reception desk. And basically, everyone's real name is in, the, is in the chat here. That is awful. Everyone's real name is in the chat. Jesus Christ. And you have to choose a stage that you're going to go and watch a thing on. Okay. And here's why they have multiple stages, because they're actually setting up like, like a real virtual convention. Because here is... <laughs> here is their itinerary. So, for example, you know, there's a G4C welcome with the president, Susanna Pollock. At 9.50, there's opening remarks with Anna de Castillo. Then you have uh, the, oh, the virtual marketplace is happening. But also, the keynote, Play for Change, 10 games to play right now by Colleen Macklin, an associate professor. All right. At 1020, you have immersive tech for school preparedness. Um, at 1040, you have the world now understands Able Gamers mission. Wait a minute. Is this, like, are these things going to be happening at the same time, or are they all, like, only 20 minutes long each? Uh, these, they're only 20 minutes long each, but, but when they overlap like this, they're happening at the same time. Well, yeah, I figured. Yep. Okay. So you have... It games to address the national health crisis, game storming curriculum, democrat. It doesn't say democratizing. It just says curricula. A curricula. Well, it's the same thing. Really. Okay, democratizing games creation with dreams, mental health in games, winning against pandemics, games as essential tools for planning and response. Sims 4 co-play with a kindergartner. Why? Okay. Simple accessibility Why? practices Who to expand the fuck games' wants to reach. See that? What? <laughs> the unifying power of video games. I already hate you all. <laughs> Introdu introducing raising good gamers. So it, this has to uh, catalyze positive change in the culture and climate of online gaming for youth. Do they realize that fucking parents don't watch this shit? I think like, they, to I be think, fair, some parents who are gamers, I guess, maybe will, maybe, perhaps, but I doubt it very much. It should woodworm. That actually should why? be. Why? That should be. <laughs> My whys should be a channel emote. Well, no, I'm, I'm just noticing that, like, yeah, a lot of this is indoctrination, but also a lot of this is, like... Parent shit. Yeah. And it's like I said, I, I said before, and I did a video called We're Getting Old, and basically the video was about the fact that these people, because they're about my age, yep. when they were in their teens, they were edgy and they were irreverent and they were like making fun of the religious right and they were having fun being like edgy little shits making making edgy jokes. Yep. Now they're like, oh, the next generation is different from us? They don't have our sensibilities? This must be the Nazis. It's yep. like, no, it's because they're rebellious teenagers who are rebelling against you. Mm -hmm. Because you are now the adults. You're, you're old, just like I am. So, Kavia Perlman, sensing the risks of XR, what is XR? XR misuse can lead to psychological, what physical, is reputational, social, and economic harm. What is XR? I don't know. What the fuck is XR? Click on it and see. XR safety initiative. What is XR? What is XR? I don't know what XR is. How the hell are you guys more competent than most parents? I don't know what this is, dude. Because I is technically XR? was a parent. What the fuck is X? I don't fucking know. I guess we're gonna have to watch yeah. it to figure out what the fuck the XR I is. Yeah, the IGDA Mentor Cafe. That's one of those corrupt things that we looked into back during Gamergate. Oh, the God. IGDA. Okay. Games can heal the world. A keynote from 
Leo. Yeah. Hey, this Leo. talk will this talk will walk through various ways games are helping heal the world and leave you with some gays some ways you can use games to engage deeply with your community. Okay. G4C chapters, whatever. Remote learning mixed reality, fine, meet the funder. Building for inclusivity. It's extended how games reality. have the how the have the power to transform people. That's what XR is. It's extended okay. reality. All right, cool beans. Would you like to be a, a fly on the wall as we no. step inside the minds of no. a black founder, senior no. leader, and master creator? No. Okay. Um, managing burnout and stress. Okay, fine. Fireside chat. You forgot. Addressing crane. ethics in the games industry. You forgot the Korean game stage. Whatever. They're it. just Koreans. Yeah. I'm done with Korean with Korean pop stands. Anyway. Racist. Um. So yeah, understanding our ethical responsibilities as content providers is critical. Yet discussions and guidelines regarding ethics in games are still too rare. You know you Gamer don't have time. Gamergate. You know you don't have time to actually like, read I don't all fucking this, care right? anymore. It's, it's like this, have, is, this is a joke. You have four minutes. I'm not left. doing any of this shit. Uh, we're not. Oh fuck it. Hey, hey Lyrica. Why the fuck am I here? <laughs> Lyrica Prison River. Welcome, welcome, dude. What's up? I haven't seen you in a while, Lyrica. What's up? Anyway, um, VR for change. World games, transferring in-game benefits to real life, speed networking, neurodiversity and self-advocacy, and space pirates. Space pirates! So neurodiversity is like the autism, social justice yeah, yeah. thing. Keynotes, award ceremony. Why is there an award ceremony? There's an award ceremony. Why? Growing games for change globally. Why is the award ceremony not on the second day? This is day two, by the way. It just keeps going. That one starts at 8.30 a.m. social distancing. Yeah. Why would you start at 8.30 a.m.? Who the fuck wants to wake up We're gonna be there! No, we're not! <laughs> I'm not gonna- you can do this shit by yourself then! Fuck you! Gamifying social distancing. Games to train the healthcare force. Uh, detox. Tackling toxicity with play. Oh, so you can't be there tomorrow. <laughs> you scroll down, Using I'm sure it should just be saying, Devin playing D&D. &D. Naomi not doing stream by self because fuck that shit. <laughs> Uh, using game design to empower undeserved, un undeserved, underdeserved, undeserved youth. Okay, upskilling and reskilling in the fashion supply chain. Oh boy, what teens tell us about whatever, whatever. Is there anything ridiculous? New game. You're the president. Can you avoid nuclear war? Nah. Nope. <laughs> well played. Animal Crossing and how we have faith in systems. Keynote. Anti-racism plus XR. Oh, br oh boy. Why? Yeah. Games for remote learning, fine. Designing one-button games for accessibility. So we're going back to the Atari days. Actually, no, you know what? I was reading... Oh, what fucking book was I reading? It was a cancer book. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they were describing a game like played by, by a blind guy where like he only yeah. had like a button and like... You could like hit the button and it would like like it would go in certain directions and like the, the the game would tell him what direction he's going in. That's neat. Yeah, and it, it sounded cool. So I mean, like act, like that one might be interesting if they focus more on like actually making interesting things with only one button. Yeah. Instead of just being like, oh, the poor disabled people. How will they ever do anything like a normal person ever? Because that's not being ableist at all. <laughs> Building bridges to fight hate in games. According to a 2019 survey from the ADL, 74% of adult of American adults have experienced harassment in online games. At the same time, 88% reported positive social experiences in these same spaces. So basically, it's real life then. That's just how life is. Sometimes, sometimes you meet an asshole. Yep. Oh my God, this is terrible. Um. Um. Oh my God, guys. Look at all the nonsense we get to watch for the next two fucking days. No. I might just do like an NSFO video on this. That? This, this looks so ridiculous. That's better. They're like, forcing me to be here. No, we'll just watch the whole thing. No! Accelerating acceptance through transgender representation. Dude, this is like 11 hours long. Is it longer than that? It's three days long! Yeah. What? Role playing our way through history. Kind words. Why be nice? Bring the natural world into your living room. This is the, actually it would Outbreak be Outbreak Squad, keeping your community safe. Oh. It would be a good like highlights video. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Oh my god. But that requires Gaming you actually the watching the whole thing, you know. Oh fuck me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Three days worth Ex of content, Dev, are you ready? Exploring indigenous history in when rivers were trails. 
What does that mean? It's just a game called Wind Wind River Trails. We're doing an indigenous thing about it. That might be interesting. VR actually. for inclusion. <laughs> this is raising raising good gamers research roundtable. Seven F words you can use in school. Dang it, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Naomi. <laughs> Mental health and games encore. They're just playing it again, I guess. Fortuitous death. Uh, it's Anita Sarkeesian. Oh God, why? Join Eve Crevache and Anita Sarkeesian in conversation about the mental health needs of people who make and play games, as well as the opportunities to use games for positive mental health outcomes. We will discuss our initiatives to address mental health and the opportunities to address some of the most pressing needs in the game community. To not have any of you doing this. Learning to be better digital citizens. No. It's called I want all of my anonymity back. <laughs> <laughs> As we try to fight toxicity from within our esports communities, we've come to realize that it's a battle we should also try to fix at the source. Oh, esports education. Creating sparkle and inclusion through gaming. Sparkle? sparkle? Rainbow. <laughs> Jazz hands. <laughs> oh my god. There's. Wait, wait. Arana Shapiro, is she related to Ben Shapiro? Yes. It's his mother. <laughs> <laughs> the future of education with Verizon 5G. Devin, Devin, you have to stream and do commentary on the Nita part, please. Please. Well, if it is actually a redo, we'll, we'll watch the first run of it, I guess, if it's anytime soon. Financial inclusion. Dude, I did a video on this two years ago and how it was going to be a big deal. Who was fucking right? You. Th that was my MasterCard is the final boss video. Games in the moral panic. That's you guys. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Shouldn't it, the financial inclusion just be uh, a conference on how to properly pirate video games? Maybe. So this is... um. Pirate. Pi pirate. Fuck. So, so we, we were looking for... Um, where is it? Mental health and games encore. That's on day three. Yeah, let's see. If, let's I'm see not if, gonna be here for let's that. See if we can find. Yes, you are. You're gonna be here for the whole thing. No, I'm look working. All, I'm working an eight-hour shift on Thursday. All this content. Is it? Can you actually call this content? No, really. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. It's at twelve ten today. Why? Wait. Why so, are they doing things twice? Uh, they're just re they're just re-rolling this the stream again, or, or they're just doing the conference again. Why? Why? The background song, by the way, is She, the Colorist album. I'm just playing the whole album. So yeah, um, this is the Games for Change Festival, guys. Welcome to your E-fucking-3. E why is E-, e you know what? I don't even know. No why. E-3 has been shit this year, and I'm upset. Also, P if Sony fucking won again. Yeah. Sony won again. Yeah. Because, for fuck's sakes. Actually, no, because in like in a week and a half, Xbox finally doing their thing. Oh my god, are they finally doing yeah, their like, thing? Let's see if I can show you. What day? And I still you. need to book it off from work. And I'm sure I'll get shit for that. But it's fine. I'll just go to the E3. There's no festivities here, Oops. only sadness and longing to die. Here we go. Okay, so Xbox, this is happening 23rd at 12. Okay. So. 23rd is on Thursday. Next Thursday? You can, you can still book it off, yeah. This one. I can book it off through text. Well, then book it off through text. <sighs> Sorry. When did you know? When did you know? Uh, like yesterday, last night. <laughs> when I was looking up this thing, actually. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. I guess I'll do it right now because it's 10.04 and my time limit is 1 p.m. You're fucking booking shit off, Devin. I'm oh, sorry. You fucking shit. <sighs> this coffee is the only good thing happening right now. So, what happens when you're when you're attending the Games for Change Festival, guys? Okay, let's explore the booths. Let's do that. Oh, look at all these booths. The Facebook Gaming booth. The Ubisoft booth. Nuclear Threat Initiative. The G4C Student Challenge. Games for Change Latin America, Games for Change Asia Pacific. What the hell are any of these things? What the? Thanks, Typhlosion. It's my pride and joy. What the hell? What? Which one of these do you want? Do you want to go to? These are all the booths in None. the conference. I don't want to go to any of them. Oh, Child's Play is here. No. They were actually. No. No. Oh. K 
Okay. But that's the word child in the title. I don't care what the fuck it's about. <laughs> yeah, fuck man. it. Okay, no, 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 no. Go die in a hole Unironically, fire. Child's Play was a charity started like 20 years ago. Nope. And the whole point of it was basically to outfit um, hospitals where sick kids were staying with, with, with video games. They can play them. Okay, that's not as bad. But I still yeah. don't know. We're still not watching it. I'll just be angry at the sick children dying. <laughs> Look at all these booths, dude. I, so I, just got I just got Eliza, actually. I got it on PS4. Oh, hey, Sea of Solitude. Weren't we interested in that? You were. Where is it? Right there. Up to your left. Let's click on it. No, there was a Life is Strange 2 one. Wait, is this a trailer? So, so the booths are literally a YouTube trailer. Why? So to go to the booth, you get a YouTube trailer. Okay. Fucking... Okay, hold on. Let's see, where, where's that strange one? It's up. further down? No, it was or, up. No, it's down, it's down. Right, right below Sea of Solitude. Literally uh, the Life is Strange 2 trailer from... Oh god, hold on, make hold on. it, no. Just wait, just wait, Cursed. just wait, just wait. Cursed. It's the trailer from 2018. What the fuck, man? How is this a thing? <laughs> okay, maybe it's because we're going to like, the individual games. Let's actually go to... Okay. Let's go to Facebook Gaming. No. It's a YouTube channel. Okay, what is this? This is their launch. It's their unlisted launch video with 13 views on Argyle in. It's not even like an official video. It's on Argyle in August's channel. Unlisted, 13 views. What are we fucking looking at, guys? I don't fucking know. In Facebook gaming promo. Thanks for uploading it, dude. Okay. What, what else do we got here? Let's go to Ubisoft's. Learning how to program with Rabbids? Okay. Yep, this is just a, a video on their channel from last year. These booths are literally just like pages with YouTube videos on them. Here, let's go to their actual official one. Oh, this is a Vimeo video this time. It's all just embedded videos, dude. Why? Fucking panders are destined for hell. The Bible was right. Oh. Yeah, it's all just videos and trailers. That's what the, that's what the the virtual booths are, guys. Oh yeah, we saw that, right? It was yeah. wasn't. What, didn't Nintendo announce that, or is that a different one? Uh, that's a different one. There's there's actually been like like a, a burst of apps that help kids do responsible things. Yeah, like I'm slightly getting teary eyed. From all the yawning and tiredness. Drink your coffee. You I'm, got I, two I, hands. I have to, to deal with this. So I yeah, guys. Hands. Drink it in that what hand. What do you guys want to do? That hand. You, where do you guys want to go in this virtual convention? To hell. Maybe I'll be more entertained there. By being tortured. Oh my god, this is yeah. Okay, let's actually let's actually, let's actually go to the stages then, because the stages there's the booths. Okay, no, I want to point something else. Everyone's being so nice yeah, because all, it's all the real fucking names. Yeah. <laughs> Greetings from Northern France. Teacher here. Let the information you. Fuck you, Emily Cooper. <laughs> yeah, they're all just like, oh, I should be like, I should post something really. No. Stupid. Okay, fine. No. Okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go to this default stage. Of let's see it. How much of it oh, I got to turn this off. I would okay. say that we are a kind of wonderful uh, pocket within that industry. Are you sure it you're wonderful? Much more su supportive and much more diverse, both in terms of. Uh, is there the is world, there closed as captions? Well as representing different kinds of groups. Avialist. <laughs> so that's good, but the but the majority of the industry uh, really needs to change. And I've seen in this festival the games and its per participants. What about deaf people, guys? They can't the understand games. your mumbly bullshit. But I think that we can take on Actually, a larger mission and stuff. really or, yeah. her cottage or whatever the heck she's in right now. Yeah, it's a nice little cozy place. Yeah, see, I'm right. There's no fucking closed and if captions. Going to appreciate you can't fucking have a ha ha like half your fucking things be conferences about this shit and then not included in it. That black you know? Players have, have a signed person behind her. Hairstyles that look like Get the coronavirus, it's fine. Or the fact that Tom Nook is a capitalistic oligarch. If you know the game, you know who I'm talking about. Tom Nook is a capitalist. But yet the game makers have said an oligarch. It's literally so just. I'm him. not sure about that. His family. I guess. We don't have to hate. I mean, the players, I guess. I I, I feel I feel like that would be more of a monarchy than anything with else. The game makers point. and the games field. I don't know. So to start, we have to be critical. <laughs> a fucking of the hero, yeah. And the games that we appreciate. 
So to me, at least at this moment in making change for games, the third step to game enlightenment is about appreciating underrepresented voices, ideas, and the games themselves. Game just enlightenment. Spend some time for a minute appreciating new perspectives. You want to get enlightened of the goddamn the specks of light in the universe? In his new book, and I'll While we play our videos games in the, the house in the dark. <laughs> Put there the specks are of light in the dark. Describing forms of agency and passing them around. And we possess a special ability. We can be fluid. Tom with our provides no question mortgages to you with no deposit, no interest. In the man is a fucking hero. Mm -hmm. I mean, another. that's kind of a good way to see so that. No, no. <laughs> Listen, guys. Anita Sarkeesian comes on stage at around twelve ten. This time has we could just us wait till anything. then. We have two hours for her to show up. We badly need to find new ways to connect. I don't with even each care other. about Anita Sarkeesian. And the only reason I know her name is because of you. I think games might. So. Uh, okay, here. So let's be Bye, Brick Muppet. Enjoy not okay. suffering. Oh, one last disclaimer. I promise I'll get to the games. Will you? There are a lot of yeah, great She's been doing her keynote speech since 9.45. She was supposed to be done at 10 o'clock. And 10 year, games to play now is supposed to happen at 10. It's 10.10. 10. She's just been rambling. Yep. This is why I didn't go to her right away. I knew it would be like this. Can even rewind it? like. And help us see and change the games that underlie our world. Nope. Or sorry, the systems that underlie our world. This list a fucking course. Does she not have a script in front of her that she should be reading? BIPOC She's looking at a LGBT goddamn LGBT screen. Developers. Obviously, there should be a script by on it. About no, how does no one ever have scripts? Many of these games are free, for the most part. You know, when you don't have to have memorize your lines either. is when you are so just you looking at a camera and you have things in front of the camera that the audience can't see that you have. And so, it's amazing, and I love it. That's what news anchors do all the fucking time. Also, they're not in any particular order. They're really just uh, in an effort to string together a narrative about the games from the last year. What are you doing? So to begin, 2020 has been a year, a whole year and six months. I what? think we'd all agree. What? 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 Um, in New York City, we were in a, a major lockdown. Is this a game? Uh, and the novel coronavirus uh, has kept us indoors. Is this a game? Uh, and has yeah. really... Is this number um, one? If it's a game we're being played, even more. Um, this is a game by Nikki Cage. It is a game. It's part of her series, Explorable Explanations, which look at the actual systems underlying serious issues we face today. It's just. Uh, in it my humble opinion, it's some of the most exciting games for change work I've seen. It's just in the last graph years, generator. <laughs> um, because it really kind of translates difficult things into some I've playable seen games, and this is not that. Also, also, she's just doing the same that. thing over and over again. That's how you that, win. Working with Marcel Salate, the epidemiologist, uh, Nikki brought this uh, experience together. And maybe they won't kill you. It's not from the past year. Oh. Yep. Although most of the IP, it is really a game of the moment. It's her, not us. It's yeah, I know. one that feels like a response. To the killings of literally black can't men even see the fucking oh, rules and this shit. Is, United States. This is fine. Okay, no, this is the game. It was designed it's by text. Akira Thompson yeah. specifically. It's for a fucking white text folks file to yep. experience the discomfort and danger of being a black man just walking home. It's a simple 15 minute live action role playing game, or we call them LARPs. It's not what a and LARP is. And all you need are these documents. LARP is when you dress up here, and shit. Uh, which I actually. It's not a I'm LARP. Including links to you don't even know what a LARP is! And, so I'll share a website with you where you can get links to everything. How do I know what a LARP is and she doesn't know what a fucking LARP is? How uh, the it fuck? Because you're a LARPer. Because you're a LARPer. Available items. However, despite the simplicity of this experience uh, or of the materials of the game, you'll have some. This really was promoted on E3's official website, guys. This is interesting issues and. I'm really LARPing as a black guy. Sounds good, Caligrius. Can I LARP as a Jewish that's woman? That's just fucking blatant. That's just blackface. <laughs> okay, here's like an actual game. It okay, well, looks like you should pronounce this sweet X heart, it's but it's actually pronounced more sweet game than before. From Cat Small, the creator of the game, and it's in this year's festival under the category most significant impact, and it certainly had an impact on me. Uh, so much so, I require this game for all of my students. Um, it's I would hate to take your fucking class. In the life of a black I take enough bullshit student classes as it city. is. I would legitimately well, really hate to take her class just because she's so fucking comments. rambly. I actually um, always hated but teachers it like that. Has some moments it's just that like, get to the sweet, fucking point. Uh, anything. Um, it's got highs and lows and all the stuff life is made of. 
it's really a wonderful slice of life experience. She just keeps and doing the same you, thing you know, over and over that. again. I want to also say that Kat is not just a game designer. She's a major organizer and advocate in games and technology. I would love She's to see the rest of, of the game, Liberation, but you can't show any more off, otherwise it'd be spoilers, women, because the game's probably books. only 10 minutes long. And she's one yep. of the founders and organizers of Game Developers of Color, which happening in se September, it's going to be online, um, so make sure not say to miss it. Different. And if you have the ability, just say something some different! Or donations. Yeah. It's a 15-minute game, yeah. Treachery and Beatdown City is also a New York City game made by a New York City developer, uh, okay. Sean Alexander. That is a scary and, ass and face. Oh, shit. Hey. Um, and Sean also happens to be one of the founders the 80s of the 80s ass anime developers of Color Expo. So double big up for that festival. Is that actually a game? It's or got is a it new just... gameplay mechanic that mashes up a retro style. Oh, it's a fighter, yeah. Uh, double Dragon kind of. Uh, uh, fighting game with a turn-based strategy of an RPG. Pro See, when it comes to a game that's like remotely tracks, like an actual video game, she has no fucking clue what she's talking about. Yep. Uh, throughout the game, there's plenty of commentary about gentrification, police violence, nationalism, and racial typing. Of course there typing. is. And it's funny to... Hello, fellow a lot of kids. Fighting, I'm a teacher. In real life, I didn't say what type of teacher I am, but that means that I know children. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sure she knows them intimately. I highly recommend it. Ew. Dad. It is a games for change game, even though it nope. may look gross. Stand by it. Gross. She's, she's probably gross. Okay. Now so, man, okay, no, no, here we go, here we go. Uh, this game is definitely not set in New York. It's uh, light years away. Can androids pray? Can androids pray? I'd love to be able to see any of the text dialogue going on. That'd be nice. You guys apparently don't know how to... You have a big fucking space below. Yeah. Put the, 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 the thing there. So is she doing this on her um, end, or is this just pre-recorded bullshit? I think she has like a pre-recorded thing. She's like cutting in slides as she goes. Pilots at the end of the world. Which... If that doesn't get you, I'm not sure where your from, head's uh, been all year. Yeah, we know. Mine's been from, uh, in the body of an stupid angry sunburn. My sunburn. You don't know how to take care of yourself. Ugh. Zalavier Nelson, I'm now just angry. Uh, who's one of the creators. This seems to be like a, just like a talkie game. Natalie Clayton and Priscilla Snow. Almost, almost like a virtual novel. Uh, well, that can be okay. Uh, is currently mm -hmm. making a, a game set uh, at an airport. Goodbye, Master Gregor. Mm -hmm. Enjoy not suffering for five minutes. the same name that I had a chance to play an early build of. And why call him an if they could have been a her? For some of his other why not a him? It's a robot. Blown away. But it's a robot. There's uh, no gender. You might also know some of his writing through Hypnospace Outlaw, which is another great game. I hate things but either like way, that. It's so much uh, more Zalavier sexist than just saying they, you know? His company, Strange if you don't know a person's gender, you can just say they. It's not a big deal. I personally enjoy knowing a person's gender, but that's my own thing. From uh, two angry femmes hard lads to a few blokes in a back alley, uh, Hard Lads is a meditation on masculinity and sexuality by Robert Yang. Um, it's a, is it a porn loving game? rendition of a viral video that traversed the internet a few years ago. You might have seen it. Um, and it They're has some truly now. special they moments that chance. take us yeah. beyond the original iPhone video that uh, went viral to something sublime, really strange, and game. actually quite moving, uh, believe it or not, even though it mostly involves two guys hitting each other with chairs and uh, there is a kiss scene, kissing scene, uh, in the video <laughs> and the game too. Uh, so I highly recommend it. It's a game. Porn that game. Better as you, pl you it's play it. Safe I, for I work the porn. Video too, yeah. But what, safe how for is, work porn. How is it a game though? Because you have to use your camera to move around and like is take pretty much dick pics of this guy. Uh, it. Uh, I. This is the one I haven't fully played. I actually watched. I feel snuggly. No, say made. I feel snuggly. Um, That's what everyone should say. It comes well, grab uh, from a group of Robert Yang's former students at the NYU Game Center. And uh, see, like when you go for like a games block, design uh, degree, this is the shit you end up making. At Parsons, so three Actual indie, uh, like good indies, just like game made good games. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't bother going to school for it. <laughs> now, um, I'm really looking forward to this game. See, I'm so far this one actually doesn't look super duper bad, considering that you can change it. the text um, and whatnot. I but love like, words and dialogue in games. It reminds so me of uh, me the, the, the spot. Catherine. Uh, no, and Catherine texting scenes. A game scenes. that oh, finally yes. yeah. challenges the kind of traditional. I don't know anything about the story or anything other than that there's a black man and there's a bar and and there's dating apps. Actually, I have a feeling you might be a bartender, maybe. So check it out when it comes out in a full few days. You'll be some of the first folks. 
to play the game. Um, Actually, I don't think you're a bartender. After the festival, I think you're just over. a girl in a bar. So this is the one I was mildly this interested in. Yeah, here's Rivers the indigenous one, yeah. Uh, Wait, it's literally just Frogger. I played at Indiecade. Um, I uh, have been volunteering as a ju juror at Indiecade for many, many years. Oh, you're um, one of the corrupt so Indiecade judges. The, the people and, that I looked uh, into like so five years. Fuck them. you. Uh, and there it won the Adaptation just me looking into it, but Award. Which stolen is Valor, Valor, I guess. Award for documentary style games. Is there more to this it's game other than just avoid the log in a canoe? Because if there isn't, I'm not so going to play it. There's also proud uh, native culture now, we have to understand. Of a game. Shit doesn't uh, matter if it's only avoid log in a canoe. Uh, and the fact that despite it being uh, this is why our civilization developed by won. an educational unit <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, over in Michigan, um, oh, it's God. Native American good, and I couldn't stop playing. Now, sorry, educational game developers. We can make great games, but... Uh, 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 it is an entertaining uh, I mean, title you as could well. if you gave a shit. I guarantee you'll think more about the true history of the ground you're on while you're playing it as well. I'm uh, fucking I'm sure I will. From land I that think was about taken from water the I'm on since it's in a stolen. canoe. Um, so you might want to think the about land, where you're listening because there's no land other than rock. In a place that had Six. indigenous. Uh, people who uh, you can just uh, leave. It's fine. No, I don't. No, no, no. Stay I don't here. expect Stay here any of you to suffer with us. All right. Uh, mission. It's complicated. Now, full disclosure. Uh, before the festival began, uh, someone from Shell Games reached out to me and suggested I play their game. So that I'm. I, I did, and I'm really glad they did. It's honestly not the kind of game I would normally play. Um, Her but audio I, and uh, for are my off past now. tween closet yeah. itself, I'd be all over it. Maybe, I, maybe if I refresh it, it'll be better. Superheroes, so it's definitely got a hook. But the most important thing that I think uh, we can learn yes. from this game just highlighted something is that right um, many of the developers you were to back, LGBTQ like go back. Uh, members. Yeah, refresh it. <sighs> and sensitivity reader to work no, with them. No, it's her. It's just her. It's literally her. It's just her. She's probably because she's in a log fucking cabin doing this shit. See, it seems to be like a superhero help you be novel game. To their lives and Thanks, topics. crispy props. Um, I'm, I am proud of myself. Particularly if you're not. <laughs> And number ten. Uh, okay, okay. This is oh not my god, game, Elec so much fun. electric like zine maker. Uh, the zine. electric zine maker by Natalie a zine Walmart, is like a print shop and art toy. For a mid nineties form of communication. Uh, I wish more digital that tools feminists were like primarily this. used back then to spread their ideas before the internet. Again. Um, well, she's and just drawing a smiley face. Is that, is that what this is? I don't know. Yeah. Zine is short for magazine. Voices. They would make little pamphlets Since that were like magazine like. Still oh. with, like with like articles that were cut out and pasted in. It's like half magazine, half scrapbook. You know, the kind of sounds interesting. Bread. I'm not going to lie. With our time, Except that they've turned to shit in 2020. Of course they have. But the idea of it sounded interesting. It was like a phenomenon that really only fit in the 90s. And also, yeah, it's just fucking weird. Some of these. A quick word about platforms. Many of these games are available on different. What kind of platforms? I don't fucking know because uh, I can't hear you. Platforms. What is itch.io? What is itch.io? It's, itch it's like it's uh, like an SJW Steam. You can get it there because that yeah. I can just have actual you want Steam for both you, the player, so, as well as creators. Um, they set a minimum. Price, yeah, you need to buy these games, um, guys. But then also. They if they cost they more than a dollar, you're being ripped off. Actually, on itch.io, they set a minimum from price. Zero but you can choose to pay more than if you want. Percent on a, if you want to give them most money. Platforms like Steam I mean, that's kind of fine. If, like, okay, if it wasn't shit games, like if it was a game you know and loved, so and like, let's say you like, take, know like, the developer. Like, I would probably pay more than I did for Stardew Valley because it's so good. You know? The revenue share between the maker and the platform holder is something that the Woodworm, I think I'm going to, yeah. I don't want to watch all two fucking days of this. What I will do is, like, on one of my computers that I'm not that using I'll just set up like a, like a constant recording of the whole thing because mm -hmm. I think these are going to be lost as soon as uh, yeah, I feel like I think I think there's not going to be uploaded but, um, these videos at this so. link, Anita is on at 1210 that's oh my god it's only been 10 minutes find, yeah uh, more it's only the list it's only been 10 minutes that's why I said Resources, that we should just leave events, and you can come back festivals, because I will have nothing to comment on with Anita Sarkeesian because I literally have no idea who the fuck she is except for you so and take this incredible organizations you'll hear from later um, if I missed something on the on the list, please just reach out to me and let me know. I've got my contact. For Why is it LGBTQ? I will reach out with the icy touch of I death. I, uh, you know what makes me mad uh, as someone who is part of the fucking LGBTQ we'll uh, community? Uh, BIPOCs I look are to making and appreciating um, with you all. Black so indigenous people of color. Days. Thank you so much. Wait, what? Black indigenous people? 
Thank you, Colleen. As always, you're amazing. Thank you so much for bringing those this is shit to the forefront at what the, the beginning fuck? of our event. For those of you who are interested in continuing a conversation Get your audio and visuals Colleen, right now, with fucking many of our speakers, she's going to be moving over to a Q&A kind of like room. Her bluffs, though. In this case, it's going to be the impact room, which is located in the impact area. room. Kinky. So find that and go I was thinking more like a like a wrestling Colleen, thing. So I'm sure Kinky. she'll be here for the rest of the week as well. <laughs> so XR, the umbrella. T- for virtual, augmented, and mixed reality. Also, my favorite part about this is that she's the president, right? Effective simulation. Of this, mm-hmm. One she's of white. Case white people bad, guys. Can she can't be the fucking president she's of games for change. She's a woman, though, so it's it's diverse. No, nope, all Go white on. people what, what are bad. What makes you mad as an LGBTQ? Come on, you're not LGBTQ. You're just you're just I'm B. just B. Yeah. Yeah. To be, to be fair, okay, no, it makes me mad because Q just stands for queer, which is literally just like under an umbrella term for being like fucking gay or bi or whatever. You know, it's just. Placed. You're just Disaster. queer. Like, I literally heard someone describe Explain it at a presentation. It's like, so they're just gay? Please welcome Jessica. Hold on, here's the next one. You know? Yeah, queer does just mean gay. Can you guys Thank get you so your much. fucking audio straight? So no, apparently they can't. But anyway, it makes me mad because, uh, like, it makes me feel like asexuals are actually, like, underrepresented in really the LGBT community. That's why they're, like, they're farther down the thing. Yeah, yeah I know, but it's just, like, um, why? Like, you, you literally don't have to include like any of the other letters other than A because they're... The, all the letters, if you include so A, can just be used as umbrella terms. And then those other things can just be under them. So you don't have to include This is now Naomi's conference and not Jessica Robbins. Yeah, I don't fucking care about this shit. We do a great deal of work. Where's the technology in the digital games? games. Like Maybe you shouldn't do VR societies. in schools. Who the fuck knows? The I don't know. Um, help to build their capacity. Actually, I was on Instagram stream last night. You made a good point. There's a difference between like LGBTQ people because there's really none of those. It's just L. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you're BT. Last yeah, year, like that's it. Yeah. And there's a uh, difference between that and LGBTQ as an ideology. Mm-hmm. Um, and how, like, the people sorry, are fine, but the ideology is fucking cancer. Yeah, but it just made me mad because, like, they tried, like, they, it was just LGBT um, plus before, research, you know? Yeah. Now it's LGBTQ. Um, really and why is Q getting more prominent than any other fucking letter? You know? It used to be I, but they moved away from science to feels. So that's why it's Q now. First couple of years, the things that I learned about and the people that I met and spoke with. Um, help to inspire some of the work that we've been doing at, at the GDPC. So yeah, so this is the uh, here, how um, games can help with GDPC the global disaster. Looking at ways that innovative strategies I mean, and technical they could, or if they had electricity. solutions can help to support disaster <laughs> preparedness. Because some of these places don't have electricity. Worldwide. And we're so really interested in, in can't play games more there. into the, the space of immersive technology and games. So... We you contracted a couple of research consultants technology. last year. I don't know. To do this I mean, incredibly in-depth I've always found this kind of pointless because the all the places it could actually help are places that like it will have no use in because there's no electricity, like there's no places um, the to actually like use these things properly without them actually getting stolen by all the other shitty people that live there. Give, give me a moment. I need to the see what the fuck the itinerary is in this goddamn... Available yeah, to keep you the online is, Okay, we are on. Uh, we are that on immerse, and this one. I, immersive and tech for school so preparedness. To, to yeah. look into that, um, because I certainly won't be able to. Cover able gamers all is at ten forty. I know who able gamers um, are. They're like they're they're honestly like ridiculously like fucking bigoted, but the because they're they have the proper politics, they're okay with it. Um, to, against, to, to bring um, uh, expanded capacity. They have no problem with expelling people who disagree space. with their politics, even so if those people the are like LGBT they, they, uh, and, and disabled, even though they, they, uh, they, they analyze think they, they, like, the technologies them. themselves. Yeah. They're basically like so, so it's like autism speaks, little, speaks yeah, where like, like, like that, that fucking to put together this meta charity and whatnot is actually like super bad for anyone who's autistic ever. And like no one should be supporting The considerations, the things that they found, Games to address the national health crisis. Yeah, Anita Sarkeesian comes on she comes and on and then she's gonna be late because it's 10 30 and please. this lady has to be done in 10 minutes and she's not gonna be because she started late so yeah. for context because the other fucking um, rambling i want to chair. talk about school-based disaster risk reduction um, the chat is moving so fast. Disaster risk I, reduction has <laughs> I def you boomer. I def you boomer. Am I like the only streamer watching this piece of shit? Probably, to be honest. Who's John Smith? The target audience for it runs MLG, the yeah. from students uh, to yes. teachers. Yes. <laughs> MLG, yeah. Um, <laughs> we've been watching every E3 stream. This is by far the most cancer I've ever seen. I've been um, watching E3 for like 20 years now. Um, address different areas. Like, I remember um, reading E3 in like fucking Nintendo Powers, um, okay? And how cool uh, it's seen Nintendo Power. This is by far the worst goddamn thing I've ever seen in my life when it comes to E3. How about you? Both at... The, yeah, um, like you've had some bad E3 conferences before, but nothing uh, like this. Uh, nothing nearly this fucking terrible. Disasters and also 
I agree, the trolling Yardy. Like, I liked the idea of the first, like, Pride Parade, you safety, know, where it was just like, hey, guys, uh, we fucking can actually do shit now, and we're not just being beaten in the street because yeah. people yeah. found out about us. Hooray, let's celebrate, you yeah. know? So that's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, I'm like, it's pretty much just turned into a Next fucking, like, slide. sex parade with rainbows. Like, who the fuck thought it was go okay to bring out fucking dildos and shit? Who the fuck thought it was okay to, like, go out nude, just covered in a rainbow? And it was a guy, too. It was just like, yes, hello, rainbow dong. You turned me on so much. Um, Were you basing turned on? a lot of our, no, not at all. Um, our no, Melchizedek, like, you, so you have to be here. You have to be here. If I have to be here, you have to be here. Hey, for one day. Listen, basically, after it's Anita, I'm just going to call it. Um, so basically, <laughs> just looking at any kind of. Uh, <laughs> there's a guy in there named <laughs> Dev Singh <laughs> in the chat, and he's like, <laughs> who the fuck is, <laughs> is calling me out? A game you're playing tonight? You want to play Final Fantasy tonight? So oh, I suppose it's gonna you know, be like the hottest day of the week on Saturday. A I'll blast the AC. School age children in particular. So health and safety. It's um, funny that there's actually a guy named Dev in there. Well, of Hi, Dev, you boomer. Your, your name is not a priority uncommon name. in these no, conversations. No. So like some of the things that we inside. that we looked at were, were when we were sort of reviewing the okay. beginning. Who, who is John Smith in the chat? I'm kind of curious now. Well, they're not gonna give their name, their fake, their their fake name away. And other. Why is the audio so late? Because they can't run their fucking stream. To, yep. to determine when and how those pieces of At least she has her shit down the fuck there, you know? Yeah. Also, Good Lord. grounding this sort of more John's broadly in Vegas name, I know. cognitive development <laughs> understanding. Hi, how, everyone. I am Mariam, the founder of Social are, Impact Gaming Studio Grid. On April 9th, we launched the example, game called Corona um, Combat. Use Ooh. something and be able to discern. <laughs> a game to raise free, Corona to awareness. The game can be played for free. You know what? Since this is fucking terrible, let's see her game Corona Combat. No. <laughs> okay, I don't care. Just, just go. Play. Time challenge. All right, let's, let's, you're probably going to need the... It's a fucking quiz. It's a fucking, like... Hooray for quizzes. Hit fact. Great, next. Fact. Hooray. Next. No, that's that's true. Wrong. Oh, fuck you! You're wrong. The World Health Organization is a fucking hack. Avoiding public transportation helps avoid the spread of fact. Make sure that you're a good drone. Wow. Myth. I like how you looked to me for the answer. <laughs> if only I could talk to the new cars, I could. Yes, I could. <laughs> we totally believe in your persuasion sh skills. Fuck off. <laughs> Spring alcohol, clean everybody, will clean the coronavirus. Myth. Yes, it will. It's a myth. Trump told me so. It's not just a flu. But it. Uh, it just it is. Fuck it you. It is a flu. You're it just wrong. causes pneumonia. That's true. Yes. But it is a flu. Drinking alcohol from this bed? No, of course not. Receiving parcels from letters from China is safe. Myth. No. It... <laughs> it's not though. It doesn't matter. What, it doesn't matter. All the stuff about, about contagion, about how you can get it from surfaces, but make sure to go to Chinatown and party down, you bigot. <laughs> oh. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Oh my God, guys. How long is this fucking quiz? Source. Who? Who? Are you? Chronic, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are higher risk? Yes, they are. Ooh, Drinking water will flush the coronavirus from your mouth. Fact. No, of course not. Fact. Russia has unleashed over 500 lines to ensure that people stay inside. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Eating garlic? No, Fact. of course not. <laughs> the novel coronavirus refers to the story of the coronavirus. Fact. The novel. Yes, <laughs> the novel. Licking hand sanitizers. Fact. Oh, for, what the? Fact. Licking hand sanitizers? Taking a cruise is a great way to prevent coronavirus. Fact. Yeah. Fuck. Coronavirus challenges shredding on social media platforms are cool. Myth. Yeah. First of all, the news is like three months old now. Like, yeah. you are really fucking far behind on yep. this one. Yes, they are. They're cool. So, for so yes, of course. New coronavirus can spread from people to animals. Yes, yes, they can. I thought this was going to be like some... 
fucking like fighting game where you're fighting against the virus, Dude, you know, like a shooting game. Flattening the curve means going on a diet during self quarantine. Fact. How, how fat phobic of you? Very, very fat phobic. Yep. How dare you not body love? You can yourself. use a vacuum cleaner to suck the, the coronavirus out of the patient. They just stick it in their mouth and go. <laughs> People who develop warning yeah, signs. Yeah, she's Chan. That's what I thought it was going to be too. And like, it's just yeah. like, oh, you want to armor up? Wear a mask. Oh, wear dude, a visor. Dude, wear dude. some gloves. I'm the believer of myths. Uh, wow, that was a great fun diversion. Let's get back to this. Risk that actually entails for them. So there are a lot of opportunities here. I guarantee for, you, for I was the only person who fucking played this thing. <laughs> from know, her, from her click here. Global audience here at, at GDPC and. In a lot of places that were Floyd like, George. Uh, Did I just get need for this? Also, hi, Dad. So, oh my fucking you know, god. <laughs> to in it's, it's cool oh my new. god, dude. Um, uh, it's definitely, uh, I cannot effect. endorse your trolling, um, that, or else I'll get fucking in, kicked in off Twitch. So don't, that, don't do it. Um, engaging with VR don't do I find the trolling, it, guys. I find it's it, really bad. You I find it do funny, but don't do it. Ever. I find it. I find it funny, but don't do it. No trolling. Have spoken trolling about is that bad. Um, and they, and has the power to impact the decision making that, that students Floyd will make George. in a real world Love scenario. Um, there that dev guy is probably still pretty confused. Wait, yeah. I'm still not banned for that. That's funny. Different XR opportunities also help students to learn by doing instead of just being passive recipients of information. And of course, being able to they're be only being so nice. Allows for one because of the type of conference this is, and two because of their goddamn names. Also, at least Heather was smart. Heather just put Heather UK. At least she's smart. You yeah. go, Heather. I'm proud of you. On, yeah. All the rest of you are idiots. A more yep. realistic scenario. Uh, free Wendy. You have to sign up for a virtual the ticket year, a, a at the Games for Change uh, virtual SDR festival to access the private stream. Drills and it doesn't cost anything, it's just stupid. There are a number of limitations here. A lot of them have to do with logistics. Um, being able to, you know, organize a group of students to do a fire, fire drill You're baking with Floyd, I example, need your dough. Um, oh my fucking takes god, time dude. Oh, that's a dark to, joke. <laughs> a fire department on hand, um, you have to... Um, sort of plan the time. You have three minutes turn left, lady. Fire, like, turn the fire bell on. Everyone has to file out. It's it's disruptive to the the classroom. Um, oh, she's talking um, about fire drills. I actually yeah. agree with her there. Today. But why is it and part of E3? Involved in doing that kind of mm. drill. Because um, it's so all about virtual reality. Do, um, about preparing for disasters like that. Um, actually, I think this would be cool be about like how like people can learn to drive in virtual reality, hey, like actually yeah, yeah, properly. Yeah, like, do you remember when we went? Like, room. do you remember? Uh, did you ever go to and Science North like years and years oh my ago? God. Okay, Sugma nuts. Hi, Dev. <laughs> Dev Singh replies, "Hey, Sugma nuts." So there are different opportunities that XR provides that both enhance that opportunity. Oh God, that guy might be so confused. Oh my god! Why are so many people um, saying mm -hmm. hi? Additionally, to me. Um, we talked about decision making skills. I'm just here, just talking about XR and stuff. It's fine. Is able to enhance oh yeah, so apparently, uh, where you wrote a deadly premonition two character who was trans is a bit controversial. And, learn, you know, and so the entire fucking internet descended on him. He's like, okay, I'll patch the game and take it out. Sorry. Scenario: What they're supposed to do before, yeah. during, and after a disaster. Um, one thing that's that's interesting. I learned to, to drive in GT3 even had my license for six months. Nice. Disasters. No, but like, what would be okay? Um, do you remember when we went to Science Park? There was like that airplane simulator. You know, which location? You know, like you learned how to drive a plane uh, and shit. That would be cool, except for like you know cars and shit. That way, yeah. like idiotic people who can't drive. Hi, Dev. Hi, Dev. Hey, Dev. It's Bendelin. Deadly Premonition is pretty too. Is pretty. Is pretty awful. Here's the thing. Um. So they, it was the first one. Deadly Premonition 1 was smooth. awful, but that, that's what gave it its charm. Like, yep. okay, e even you who didn't like to, the game, you can so you can see how it... Like, it wasn't just, like, a bad game and nothing else. There was something else there. That were, that were Naomi. I think. Uh, I don't know, I can't get Like, they had, it had, like, a strange charm to it that actually made it appealing on some and level. Did, yes. Yeah. But if DP2 is, like, is actively trying to go for that feeling, they're probably going to ruin it. Okay, let's see. Okay, she's late. Get the fuck out. You're done. 
I don't think it's necessarily. Hey, Dev. Like, hey, Dev. This comes from a, a lifelong Red Cross. I like how it's the first fucking one that made everyone else late. Like, exciting, oh, but it's she should be ashamed of herself. Actually, technically, it was the second one because the president um, was the very are first often one. Not engaged with the I just skipped that shit. Um, there isn't yeah. always a great we, 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 we should go back and watch it. No. I wonder um, if it'll so be online. Being like, able to. You see, it, it says the world now understands Able Gamers' mission. But we're not on Able Gamers yet. We're still on this shit. Situation, yep. visualize because they an suck injury, at pacing. Um, and be able to Forever. physically address. So apparently, those, they're talking uh, about making games that teach you how to how to prepare uh, for disasters. A great deal yeah. Of opportunity yeah. For yeah. Them Which is actually like not necessarily a bad thing, you know? Like that, I guess that part's um, interesting. But they're talking about doing it in like third world countries that like all if they bring any high tech tech there, it's just gonna get fucking stolen. I'm going to go through like, these next series of slides relatively quickly um, because, again, I'm trying to... Any to good FPS games that I can play? Yes, we, we understand that you're late, lady. Yeah, I get it. ...to a relatively short presentation. Um, so I want to address a couple of key learnings here no. on the next slide. Um, um, dude, looking at you're late. You're, you're a minute late. Get the fuck out. ...from the case studies and from the... Uh, yeah, DP1 had cheese and charm. DP2 tries to emulate it while being janky choir. deliberately. I know a lot of you do these things already. I'll wait for a sale before um, I try it. for anyone who's in the wait, disaster what? preparedness space... Oh, yeah, yeah. Person thinking yeah. about... Um, Integrating, yeah, that doesn't um, surprise me, Ben. Dylan. I have it. I had a like that well, space. the first deadly premonition These was things, like um, terribly you know, charming by accident, just like yeah. just like the room. So, he, he had like no yeah. budget, so he had to do what he could. Yeah, no, apparently, Swery has <laughs> Swery has any so, dating sim ever, crispy props. Swery has basically become an SJW over the years. And and look, we played the last game, JJ, Macfield, and Alan Memories. You can kind of tell that he had become one rather than having the technology lead that process. Um, it's also hey, really Mr. Cool Reager. To Glad you're back. Um, you didn't miss that much. People in the chat are now saying hi design. to us, and that dev um, guy's still saying hi really back. To <laughs> don't know why. It's going to be relevant and interesting and useful to the students. Um, from our perspective, again, looking at a, a global global landscape, um, we want any solution to be able to. Okay, we no, haven't been paying attention to this, but the idea of it is interesting. I, yeah, okay, the, the chat room though, they're all Especially talking like it's this big serious conference. Like let's, yep. let's network so and connect be, together, and and I can make connections here and join the industry and be official. And it's like you guys all fucking suck. They're all just getting high off their own farts. Um, or a four error. No, no, Swery was good. Swery was good. He made some good games. He made D4. Um, he made the information. He made some good games. A realistic hazard oh, representation please do contribute to the collaborative so, wakelet. Um, you know, it What's might a wakelet? Be to capture everything from the festival. To what is a Better wakelet? together or, equals still missing um, a few of the links for Matt Colleen uh, Mac and presentation. What is a wakelet? I don't know, but you might want to actually like just... In the right space, but not necessarily... You know, something that's more cartoony and fine. a little bit less um, super Just literally type anonymous parrot. Do in it. In order for them to okay. um, do it. To both understand go squawk. it, but not be squawk. overwhelmed by it. Um, I already mentioned squawk. a little bit about dis design differences squawk, when it comes okay. to things like flood, hurricanes, um, Let's share fire. resources um, and links that, that capture sure games that for change 2020. Really simple and, and focused. Um, we want to make sure that it provides really... It's just the games. Technical it's just the fucking games. Yeah, that's dumb. Especially when right. it comes Never to mind. minimizing the, the opportunity or the, fuck is... the possibility, <sighs> rather, for things Go away. like motion sickness. That's something, especially for kids, that we want to be really conscious of. Um, one of the most important things, and I will hammer this into anybody who we're working be with nice. in the field, is Subtitles. integrating Because I can barely understand what you're saying. The XR solution cannot be a... <sighs> What they solution. need is not they VR, what they need are homes and food. Can't we have uh, both? Yeah. No, because the people will steal all of the high tech shit if you doing, bring it there. Like, you'll have to have guards with guns on it. Like, seriously. Uh, this is a different person now. I'm Nimra, the creative director of a social really impact gaming difference. studio. And we launched Corona Combat. And it's the same game. It's the same game, but somebody new. Yeah. Well, it's because multiple people made the game, right? So. John Smith got banned. Lord George. And another key piece is sharing knowledge. <laughs> One doesn't preclude the other. Where's, where's Floyd research. George? We then, yeah, it's Floyd George saying they need is not fear, they need homes and food. They need homes, food, and VR, guys. Yep. Very similar problems in different contexts with different. Oh my god, Rage Bear. It hasn't even been that. It's been social justice lectures. One of the things that yep. is really key 
is, is I haven't even been crap mobile. It's literally just been like all text based adventure games. There was Next one that looked semi okay, but it was literally just like talking, right. but you can so, change the dialogue. For, for nearly an hour, they've been lecturing about social justice issues in games. Well, no, 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 that's not that's not true. She's been talking about all um, like the VR shit that you could do, sort of yeah. like for preparing bit, for disasters or anything are, else. Are, like, you know, that part's actually madly interesting, even though I haven't been paying attention. She's she's okay. She's now run over time five minutes. Yep. Um, People in third world countries need VR for really the VTuber anime. What they might be facing. Um, so something. Bye, Zen Chan. Thank you for suffering with us for an hour. No, no, no. Zen Chan, you have to stay. You have to stay. Not only Clearly, this is another troll. Oh. Anita Sarkeesian is on in an hour and a half. In a, in a high pressure situation. <sighs> Next slide. Why does she keep saying really next slide? Because somebody in the, in, in the room is actually running the stream. Why? Why so isn't she just take the fucking space where the arrow? Are. Like, yeah, this just a little, have a, a keyboard video. in front of you. I've um, already mom. recorded them. His name is very um, offensive. Pretty, pretty challenging. <laughs> this is a, a, you know, a, a, guys, don't do this. Like guys, guys, don't. Don't. I, I have to disavow. I cannot say anything but disavow. I disavow. I disavow you, okay? level of flood water. So, to make a quick bingo um, card for the an, for the Anita stream, really helps you guys can if you want. To understand how those hazards might have a real impact in their own space. Next slide. Right, and then the third one um, is the, the gamification working on games aspect for kids of it. Combat so being able to this is like, this is like, like a how to give CPR game. Yeah, no, like all like this one is actually educational and mildly interesting, but I can't understand literally anything she's saying because she's kind of mumbling and really quiet. Yeah. And then finally, the next because slide. no one believes in closed I'll, captions because for some reason this is live. Some key recommendations. Why would you make it live? It's a goddamn stream. Don't make it live. In a great deal more if okay, if the next panel isn't at least somewhat funny or interesting or like goofy, um, we will switch to a game until an ESRK game comes on and then we'll come back to it. What game are we gonna play? I don't know. What do you wanna play? I have no idea. One of these games? No. Taking into account. You know the the context that the students are working in, making sure that it's led by the needs of the students and the also someone in the chat asked. DP two. Okay, someone in that um, chat asked if anyone sure was working on a game to combat depression for kids. Um, it's all like you play any game you want to, to ignore to your, me your stuff, but if um, we're on the educational racket, it could actually be mildly interesting if like there was an like a fun educational game that actually like showed you healthy coping behaviors for your depression. You like you. No, it's just a regular game. It's just like, oh, well, should you do this? Or, like, it would probably probably be like more like a. Uh, Here's how you take the razor blade to your penis. A castration. Not. Uh, I don't mean actually cutting it off. Just cutting into it. Castration. Genital mutilation. Hold on. They cut her off. Thank you, Jessica. So up next on our civic. I'm gonna I'm gonna refresh it just in case it is us, but I think it's them. It is them. Their audio. Veterans with disabilities. Fifteen years ago, Mark founded Able Gamers. So yeah, no Able Gamers is complete bullshit. They are a sh they are a shitty company. They have uh, they have they have basically Fast fucked around with people constantly. Can Jessica <laughs> even see the comments? Like, <laughs> why are you saying thank you? Oh, his glasses are so blue. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, They're when shining we planned this the talk, Suzanne, last year, we thought about a very the different says video, back but I'm so glad I was able to come here. So today I want to tell you about how I founded Able Gamers, some of the ways we went about affecting... How about you talk about how you kick people out of your organization who are disabled just because they don't agree with your politics, dude. We learned along the way so that you can take on a This guy's honestly a piece of shit. ...and change something in your world. So I'm a service disabled veteran. That means that... Um, I was disabled while active duty Air Force, but my disability. You don't get to claim the identity of veteran um, as an I intersectional identity. Ways. If you guys fucking hate the military. When you're in the military, you always make lifelong friends. To be fair, you and could have like worked in the military the and then like been like, this place is a fucking piece of shit. I hate it. I'm leaving. You know, like you can still be a veteran and he, he hate got, the military. He got, he got disabled though. Stephanie since the sixth grade. No, he said he was and disabled behold, while working in the Air Force. Yeah, so he didn't leave because of he hated it. No, no, I know. I'm just saying, like, it's not. Like, it can't just be I one or the other. Like, you could be a veteran who fucking, like, despised the military because they're all fucking corrupt and terrible, you know? Mm. I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying, yeah, like, that you, could you, be you a you reason. Yeah, you can believe that, yes. yes. <clears throat> miles between us. 
Oh, every Friday. Tifa poppy juice. Hi, Dev. Tifa's poopy juice. Tifa's poopy juice. <laughs> so I assume it's one of you guys. <laughs> At least they won't actually recognize that one. <laughs> <laughs> so Oof. one August in 2004, I did the routine. I went yeah, if you talk drink, back to Mark, you ain't disabled. Yeah. Do you guys remember the, the shit that Able Gamers has done, like all the bullshit? Oh, seven I... turned into seven oh five. Deb, they have to be politically disabled too. Turned to seven ten. So I took my. I wonder if they're just gonna start phone. reporting everyone who and says hi, Dev. <laughs> Albert. This is so bad. It's good. I disagree with Floyd George. I could hear my best friend. My best friend. Maybe you'll do a video on it at some point. Also, can you imagine if someone in there was named act see, like actually named Floyd George, <laughs> and like they got banned <laughs> just because their name was offensive? We it is a new play, Floyd George. <laughs> multiple sclerosis had decided that her mouse hand wasn't going to work. So, she saw this thing that she loved. This video games that okay, I really don't care about this. I'm going to Yeah, her it's okay. Friends and her family slip away because this disability had decided <laughs> that her mousing so hand wasn't going to oh, work. God. <laughs> so instead of gaming that evening, I Can jumped on the internet. This was 2004. The internet had solved all of our problems. All I needed to do. So for those of you just tuning in, words in this is an E3 conference called the Games for Change here, Virtual screen. Festival 2020. The problem was it did. There have been almost no games no shown. Really it has been over an hour of social justice away. propaganda. And so currently this is the leader well, of the the uh, the able gamers charity which focuses on the intersection the intersection and of so gaming and disability. We and we talked about this. this has been the worst thing I've ever seen this. in E3 the in the I near 20 years I've been watching E3. And so to get to the chat, you, know, you have to sign up. And I can't recommend this. I, can, I have to completely disavow. So do not do this. Do not go in there to troll them. Want to start with it's Gamers against Twitch rules. Statement. Don't do it. Okay. If you want to participate, you have to uh, go to the able get the not able gamers the the games for change website and sign up with for, with your real name for a virtual ticket. And let me tell you, the world is understanding social isolation more than it ever has there are so many people struggling i have not it's all good dog send it to me dm it to me dude COVID has created for us 28 percent of americans live alone so like that's over one in four just live alone and all of a sudden all the social ways that they connect dried up they're showing that loneliness has increased Welcome 20 back. to 30 percent and that emotional distress oh yeah for um, I bought you a few a few gifts since for uh, started. for Christmas. So, you know, I'm I don't know what they are now. Really sad secret. I'm gonna say I mean for your birthday. April of 2020. Christmas for so many people. Well, no, it's because like I know like for, you already got your Christmas gifts early. It's it's like computer parts, you know, like graphics card, exactly uh, controller for your computer. Like okay. But I actually, I actually picked up some nice things for your birthday. Yeah. Hi. And the reason why I instantly thought of that is because of your Deadpool shirt, because it's not a Deadpool thing that I got. But yeah. I know <laughs> it's not? No, it is. Oh, it is. Okay. Guys, Dev found out I like Deadpool even just a little bit, and he's just been buying me. Just a little bit? You said it was your favorite superhero. It is. Well, it's not even just a little bit. It's a lot. It's just a little bit. Gaming okay. is ticked up. So well, I bought you a Deadpool jacket and a Deadpool shirt. A, a Deadpool jacket, a Deadpool shirt, now, another Deadpool shirt, Deadpool slippers, gamers, no one Deadpool you, comic book. Are you done with Deadpool? Oh, uh, it's just a little much. At, well, listen, <laughs> it's over the course of four years, dude. We've been together for more than four years. Of course it's going to be... You got me most of that shit in the first two years. Deadpool slippers last year. I want to tell you how we went from nothing to something. No, Ruin. I just happened to be wearing. I, I just happened to, to be wearing this shirt when a bunch of art of me got done. So his favorite superhero is Superman, except he doesn't have any Superman shirts. So you. I do actually. They just don't fit me anymore. Are a terrible person. Not supporting your favorite superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care that much anyway. No, you know what I want to do? I want to. I want to take this logo and make it two lightning bolts beside each other and make that into my actual logo. All all the pools are good pools. So it, it, like, it looks like it looks like, like a comic book thing, but it'll also slightly look like the SS. <laughs> like the Nazi SS logo. <laughs> Just for fucking shits and giggles. We're starting to think that through. So in 2000 So has he actually said anything no even mildly interesting? 
was really thinking okay. about accessibility to what we have today. Accessibility. So how did that happen? Well, somebody named Dev Numi in the chat. Approach is very yeah. different. Yeah. Hi Tifa. Than many other charities. Hi Matt. Hi Dev. Dev Numi. Approach is great for affecting change. It's terrible for running charities. You guys are fucking Able hilarious, Gamers dude. Always yep. talked about the market. I think the best one is probably skills. seriously the Tifa How poopy juice. Yeah, because that that like I thought like, that was the actual name. Yeah, that looks like it, that looks it looks like it could be a real name. Mm -hmm. But it's literally just the guy who likes Tifa's People diarrhea from our Final Fantasy VII streams. <laughs> Game Maker's <laughs> Toolkit YouTube series and accessibility is a great starting point. I actually like so, Game you Maker's know, Toolkit, and they're probably the only good accessibility thing I've ever seen is their video. They understand versus Dev. telling a sad story. <laughs> Biden's <laughs> dementia. Death. Sad story is great for affecting a single change, but it's not great for affecting systemic change. Oh, God. Guys, why? So we always told this marketing story. We tried a lot. As, you know, very soon after I started Able Gamers. I started finding people that agreed with me, Steve and Craig, and oh you my know, God, they joined my mission, and we started really fighting on all fronts. <laughs> it's my favorite one. I'm just like looking at it and fucking. Oh really my God! Why are you giving them happen? more views? Because just because, just because we can. Maybe saying, well, wait, how did that do it? Well. <laughs> Hi, Biden's <laughs> dementia. Don't worry, I'll say hello <laughs> again. You forget that I already did. <laughs> And the iPhone created the rise of the... Wait, internet. hold on. Wait, does it? No, so, wait. Wait, wait, no, shut up. Someone All said that sudden, Last of Us 2 apparently has a lot of good, good idea, accessibility options. Like what? Create a content for Don't a say SFO in the fucking chat. And be commercially no. Successful. This was a okay, so... The um, time, AAA studios yeah, no uh, uh, what games have been doing basically since Borderlands 2 is they've been adding um, colorblind modes. So, so, so the game looks normal if people who are colorblind when you turn it on. That's nice. Does it help any, like, deaf people or blind people? Because we no, no. colorblind people can... Okay, I, how many... Is anyone in the chat colorblind? Because I find that colorblind people, unless you can only see grayscale, generally can make through their way through a world fairly okay, you know? They just, like, learn it semi-differently from, like... They just learn, like, where the light is on the fucking traffic light instead of what color it is, you know? The bulk like, of the money we yeah. raise is from gamers. Is from You're screwed. Yep. Yeah, I saw it. And so our community team went to the PAXs and we went and we talked about... Some of them see shades of gray. Some of them just don't see certain colors. Yeah, like there's so, red, so, green, color well, blind, and blue, yeah, so, green, color blind. So basically and, they developed a way for the game to like look different for regular eyes, but will look normal for, so many of for, for color blind people. We interacted so. with yeah. The PAXs and so many of the people we interacted with Along our journey, yeah. See, I'm hearing impaired and trying to listen and read lips. This needs to be synced. Yeah, yeah. I love the how they do this shit and they don't actually care about studios. the people who can't fucking play or games. A you know, Blizzard. like blind people and oh, deaf wait, people. I recommend. Can I play that? that I think really Hold on. Drove home. Okay, you shut up. The I'm gonna you drive you care home. About you. Okay. Can I play that? Accessibility, yeah. We were actually gonna play the watch, the Watchdogs Legion, mm -hmm. um, Legion demo because there's basically a demo out, but you have to ask them for it. Like it's not just available to download. Like anyone can get it, but you have to ask them for it. I asked them for it, they haven't gotten back to me yet. So mm -hmm. you see, exactly, Mary Ling's like, so many people are just like, yeah, it's accessible, except that, you know, like, is this this is for like blind and low vision accessibility guide. You know, that's actually mildly interesting because, like, well, okay, like at some point, like, you have to say, like, listen, this game requires sight. If you're blind, you can't play this one. Sorry. Well, no, like, I, I agree. Like, there's some games, obviously, where you can't, like, you just can't fucking play the game. Like, that's not the way the game was created. But mm -hmm. there can be more games that are for people like that that everyone could enjoy. Yeah. The thing is, they make them so bad that no one fucking likes them. So they're yeah. not getting, like, yeah, anything. You, you have to learn how to make a good game that a blind person and a normal sighted person LJC, can play. LJC, uh, yeah, don't, don't mention SFO in there, man. Okay, so... Um, full, yeah, so for, for, the, for the physical accessibility guy, if you're like missing a finger or whatever, full key and button remapping, fine. Yep. No hard-coded keys, fine. Toggles for all actions, okay. No yep. QTEs. Well, those are just a game design sin in general. Yeah. Um, 
Sensitivity settings for all controls, fine, invert, inverted access, the hand mode, just, these are all like reasonable things you can put in, all right? Yeah, exactly, nothing, yeah. Nothing is crazy here. No, no. Okay, deaf and hard of hearing. Yeah. So subtitles, Of course, fine. all games should okay, have speaker subtitles. Speaker closed captions, fine, any location proximity, you can have like, yeah, okay. You, you can, a lot of these things you can put into a game, Ooh, no problem. No, there was a stealth, like noise level indicators, I like those in yep. games. Yeah, so cognitive accessibility guide. On off settings for flickering images or flashing lights. For motion blur, okay, so these are like just graphic settings that are normal. Yeah. Fine. Easy access, easy access to short, clear instructions of what, what the player should be doing. Um, how about fuck you? <laughs> I, I am of the opinion that a quest log is already too much. Oh god, you and your fucking quest easy logs. Not everyone Wait, wants to write on, shit on, down in a goddamn paper Easy to paper follow notebook. navigational directions. For example, a glowing breadcrumb, tra breadcrumb trail. So just an arrow on the ground. Go over here. A mini-map on an HUD. Or a 3D directional arrow. So the stuff that basically destroyed video games. You know, we disagree more or less about this, but like, why don't you just make that an option in the game so that you can turn it on and off? Because it makes it too easy. Yeah, but you can turn it off on like a normal setting. That would be like there's there's easy, there's easy, normal, and hard, and then under easy, there's here's all like here's like fucking baby level. But here's the thing though, they don't like it the fact that easy mode has these options because they're saying that it conflates your your skill level with your with your ability, with like your your physical ability or your mental ability. And it's like, well yes, but they think that's bigoted. That's not bigoted. If you have cognitive disabilities, then yeah, you're gonna be playing. You're gonna be playing fucking life on easy mode. You know, <laughs> like that's kind of what you have to do to try and get through the world. Like your yeah. life's gonna be a lot harder, but you gotta let players able to see the controls any time they want. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Replay tutorials. That's fine. Putting information in text. Use a font that's easy to read. I agree. So, Comic Sans. <laughs> oh God. If your game is text heavy, offer players the choice of a specifically dys dyslexic font. Okay, fine. Oh, there's actually dyslexia-friendly fonts. That's yeah. interesting. I didn't know that. Let player read at their own pace. Okay, fine. Slides for music. Like, all this stuff... Hold on, wait. Make your UI simple and uncluttered, but at the same time, have have the controls on screen at all. Okay. Yeah. That one's kind of hard. <laughs> See, a lot, of the stuff, a lot of the stuff is just basic customization. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I can't really fix it right now, Rage Bear. And whatever. <laughs> no, the, the green screen's a bit fucked over there. It's like flickering in and out. Maybe I'll try to fix it here. Let me just really quickly fix it. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is like super basic stuff, but I understand why they're putting it on there because sometimes it's just not included in the game for like whatever reason. You know, like people just forgot about it, didn't even think about it, you know? How do I change this? What's going on? We're reading something that's more interesting than the conference. <laughs> that's getting pretty close there. <laughs> Your green screen is attempting to leave the stream, Dev. That made, it, that made the edges of the couches fuzzier. I can't wait till we can hang the new green screen, dude. I, I got it in the mail, by the way. Um, but anyway. What's going on in the stage chat? I don't know. What is? Go back. I'll go back in a minute. But, but, okay. Deaf and hard of cat here. Like. Blind and low vision. Okay, let's click on that okay. one. That's the one that would be hardest to implement in the game. Okay. All right. Only 10% of my people have, have no vision. Okay, there's no, like, list at, all, there we at go. contrast okay. options, okay, lighting's adequate, but dark, here's the thing, you might, you might have a game, a game that's in darkness, dude, like... Yeah, but you can adjust, the, all games that are in the darkness have mm -hmm. a brightness setting yeah, at yeah, the beginning that's true, of the yeah. game. Add options to turn off background scenery, so you can actually track ob objects easily, reduce visual clutters, make like the simplest fucking games possible, I guess. Consider your art style, so don't make... <laughs> like a lot of these are just things that wouldn't work in some games, you know? Yeah. This is actually family font, fine. All right. Context clues to identify interactable objects. So like if they glow. Like, like these alternate between things you should be doing anyway for regular people yeah. and stuff that can never fucking work. Like <laughs> not look, not in all games. Like yeah. it's stuff that could work if you do it in a certain type of game, but not in all games. Mm -hmm. And that's the unfortunate part about disabled people is that like you can't always just play all the games. Some like like if you're fucking blind, you can't play mm -hmm. all the games. And I feel like oh. they know that. Described cutscenes. So like someone says, and Ellie walked over to the bar and. <laughs> well, like I mean, it's like it's like um closed captions for slow down the game speed for TV. You know, where that could just be an option in the game where you have someone reading like closed captioning, like what the fuck's happening in the game. You know, that 
That might be interesting. It definitely wouldn't work for all games, but it would Dude. be interesting to actually see a game that would do that. Select uh, additional health points or health that regenerates, reducing hit points for enemies. Mm -mm. Auto aiming, auto steering, auto acceleration, auto collection of items. Invincibility to some or all enemies. So, so literally just like god mode. Yeah. No. Why? Oh my god. That's dumb. It's okay. not even a video game at that point if you include yeah. all those things. It's literally just... Smooth brain mode, yeah. Yeah, smooth brain okay, mode. Okay, here, let's, let's go back to this. What are you fucking doing, dude? Our community team are teaching... Is this jumping back to where they actually are, by the way? Yeah. Okay. I'll refresh this in case, but he hasn't changed anything. He's just sitting there ranting. Safe. Why not just listen to an audiobook? Yeah, exactly. Does something crazy happen in the door. chat? Thank you so much. Oh, you were finally kicked out. It's still late. I hate Thank it. Thank you, Mark. That was great. Um, as Mark said, he'll be the Impact Q&A room, so please hop over there if you want to talk directly uh, with Mark. So our oh, next speaker there's a second stage now. Is Jesse Shell, CEO the of Impact Shell Room. Ooh. No Q&A in progress. He'll be there in a minute, I guess. VR games. Some of these have been educational experiences, and in this talk, Jess will So inspiring, so inspiring, so inspiring, Deep time so inspiring, so inspiring. I'm totally Sony. fucking inspired, dude. Um, and History Maker VR, which allows students to create... Educational VR games, games. lesson learned. Jess okay. Not a new figure to the games or change stage, uh, close you. So what's going on now? Yeah, we're, we're here. We are here at 11. It's 11.05, so they're slowly catching up. They're not 10 minutes behind hey now, they're fine. Well, everybody. thank you. you know what? Anita is 12.10. Uh, thank you, so Mark, because he made that possible. Yeah. Today. You know, uh, so... My <laughs> oh, my God, I just said such a sexist joke I could have awesome. said right there. Yeah, go ahead, I guess. <laughs> of course the men make the stream on time. <laughs> the only man so far makes the stream on da -da 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 -da. time. <laughs> Oof, that's a terribly <laughs> sexist joke. I'm kind of upset I said it, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, Q&A in progress. I guess they're just using not doing it. This is fine. Um, who's Arana Shapiro? Oh. Ben Shapiro's mother, remember? That's right, Ben Shapiro's mom. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Anita doesn't come on until 12.10, or, yeah. Anita's, Anita's show is called Mental Health in Games at 12.10 with Eve Crevache. Oh. I've heard her name before. Go on and Discord Anita and just announce in the thing that Anita Sarkeesian is on at 1210 EST. Why, why? Do it. Do it. We'll get way more viewers. Do it. We already have 112. We can get even more. We'll get like 3,000. I'm kind of curious. I'm, I'm going to scroll down 3,000 for Anita. <laughs> <laughs> what does she know about mental health? How uh, she has it bad. Yeah, they're just replaying it, I think. Yeah. E either they're doing the exact same, the exact same conference again. Or they're just doing it like again, you know. Or yeah, either either they're they're they're, they're re, re replaying what they said, or they're just doing it again. Mm -hmm. Also, who, do we have any mods right now? My, oh yeah, Torbar. My body's rejecting itself just thinking of Anita. <laughs> I I forgot that we have mods. That I think Shogoth is here. Right too. Shogoth, are you still here, suffering with us? Probably not. She's smart and would have left. Educational VR games so far. And uh, so I thought are they I fun would educational to, VR games? Because um, so far these don't look fun. From these. So next slide. Why are they so saying next the slide? Like, Just hit yeah, the fucking arrow. It's VR not that hard. Really I think it's because like there's. Um, so oh, Shogoth's problems. actually paying next attention. No, she's not paying <laughs> attention. No. Oh, you're not. See, I think what's okay. going on actually is. People bring this up. They say, oh, I can't do VR. I think what's going on. Wait. Well, I'm interrupting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can say it after. I actually just thought about the fact that I might get motion sick playing VR games. I guess we'll see. We yeah. are finding that but no, we're as it turns out, guys, um, well, I think what's going on is that he says next that, slide mm -hmm. because he's not actually controlling the stream. No, I know. No, no. Somebody, not, not like in the next room. Yeah. Somebody at the Games for Change head, headquarters so is running the whole thing and just like Skyping in his, his, his face cam. Well, so they're doing a shit job because... Um, a lot of people say, wait a minute, these systems... Because their audio is still fucking unsynced, and they're all, everyone's fucking late, like, good fucking very, lord. You know, his, historically, that's how they yeah, Will it be possible to watch all webinars um, later? But, um... Yeah. Sorry, hang on one second there. Um, Hi, Alex Jones! Uh, it's fucking uh, Alex Jones, dude! Level. It's his fucking... Holy <laughs> shit, it's $400! Yeah, the Oculus Quest, yeah. Well, it's basically a console. I know! Dude, look, okay, look at all these people here. And the, yeah, there's uh, a lot of people here. Is yeah, they're all like right they're now. all they like people who are in the industry trying to like this kind of grow their own. Really Anita's in the chat. Be oh you shit! Yeah. Anita's in the chat, dude. She's in the chat right now. 
PewDiePie went live. If I wasn't a boomer, I'd be there now. You could go if you want. No, don't. No. Give me all your subs. So next time. You can give a sub and then leave. Yeah, here, here, here. here. You're, you're you're allowed to leave the chat if you give me these Twitch Prime subs, guys. Then I will allow you to die. Benjamin Stokes is here. Okay. More SFO in the chat. Go back over. Go back over. I'm just, I'm just looking. I want to see who else is here. That's kind of questionable. Any names I recognize? Even in normal time, um, and so. One of the things that is true is these systems that are for home, they're, they're not quite as good. Thanks, Twisted sharing. Frenzy. <laughs> you're talking about any kind of school environment. So not really. But it's, it's like a lot of like CEOs and like founders of indie studios. People just trying to like right go Thanks, build Cat Shry. I remember that. I remember her. Jesus. Kate Edwards. Oh, yeah. She was like ridiculously corrupt, dude. Kate Edwards. Um, Thanks for the subs, dude. Thanks for thank you very much. Thanks, guys. You guys are excellent. Yeah, Kate Edwards, man. She ran the uh, what was it? Yeah, the, the IGDA during like the whole corruption thing with with Phil Fish. Yeah, dude. So fuck yeah. Solutions are out there, and people are are people are. No, spill Pendor. You have to stay here. Thanks. Thanks for showing up, guys. I appreciate she gave, it. She gave a sub. She can leave. <laughs> thank you very much, dude. Thank you. Can we just so leave the people? Because I don't care about any of them. Like, this is a really good. Let me just scroll through real quick. No I'm reading. I'm, 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 I'm hyper reading. See if there's anybody I recognize again. So I saw about Naomi in there, which is rare. So. <laughs> Your name's not that common, is it? Nope. You're gonna find some count. Well, I've only known two Naomi's. Yeah, you can't. Find your name, my name, uh, like stay, right? yeah. anywhere in the fucking thing of verbs. Hi, Alex Jones. Also, hi, Dev. Fucking. Where we're seeing schools it's our devs job <laughs> no, it's a different um, however if you want to be in early this is the time to go in so if you're thinking about doing it i've got five hello and you from alex jones here. oh my first fucking is, god dude you really want to focus you're a garbage human body right people think about virtual reality as if it's a technology for the eye as if it's some kind of 3d glasses but that's not what virtual reality is at all what virtual reality is is a technology Brings your body yeah, that was Sargon just said it too. Sargon was like in okay, here. That's important at um, what was it called? So VidCon. Sargon was in the front row of her conference, just watching her, mm-hmm. and just wanting to like ask like a, he wasn't he wasn't there to like shit on her or anything. Mm-hmm. He wanted there to, he, he he opposed her. He was either there to ask her questions. Mm-hmm. Um, and she basically the from the stage shouted at him, called him a garbage human, and wouldn't let him like go go to the the question and answer thing. And then the CEO of VidCon said that Sargon harassed her. And we see it happen all the time. People who um, everyone is garbage. <laughs> I will agree they, with Sunny. I need a Sarkeesian there. Every team. human is yeah. garbage. Back in the day, it wasn't just me, Torvar. It was all of us back yeah. in the day. But back in the day, we did the Phil Fish video, and it's Phil Fish actually sent us a, a cease and desist letter. Certain take us to court over the video. So and because like we, we were like we had no idea how YouTube worked. We were like it was like five or six years ago. We were just like fuck. We'll take it down. And then three minutes later, we back. I kind of regret taking it down. I should have like said no, guys. We shouldn't should leave it up. Video here to give you some sense of how loud it Nina Sarkeesian didn't respond to her hi. How fucking bigoted of her. Developed with input from chemistry teachers. The globalists are burning oh, the game. Looks like I'm gonna show. have to smoke to uh, be able to not be motion sick in VR, even though yeah. fucking weed makes me. Look at all those subs. Very thanks nauseous. for. Thank you very much, Twisted Frenzy. Thank you. Thank you. We got an emote. Say thanks, Steph. Thanks. No. I'm with saying the, thanks right now. Thanks. With the button. It apparently but that got us like three ten. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, guys. As always, connect up your Discord with your Twitch. I like how his camera's just like. I'll just wait. Yep. He's talking now, though. Yeah. So that means their video isn't even synced up to his video. No. I love it. ended up making a chemistry lab experience that way is because we. Um, I could, okay, me with all my problems um, and constant technical difficulties, I could probably run this better. That's, that's Please address the issues with VR for kids under 13 years old and eyesight development. That's a good point, actually. Uh, don't play it till you're above 13. I mean, yeah, I guess, but they're talking about... What the fuck? So one way is your hand. Another way to embrace the body is to use the Oh, are they gonna do a, uh, like, a... But why is it Anne Frank? Dude, so, did, did someone fucking troll them? Nazi simulator. Friends experience it was for them. Uh, but Matt Farmer, who you might be hearing speak soon, he mentioned to me like, Hang hey, on, try this actually pay attention. Hold on. Frank VR experience. Um, and indeed, it really is a powerful experience. 
and it's not, not because even they're just to sell yet. What the fuck are they doing? No, but, it's not even. No, but no, no. yeah, no, he, it's not him yet. I know they, they 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 fucked it up. They have it like they have the bottom thing set for times, not for actual like bring it in. Some important way and it can be very. very Why is it and Frank? So when you're thinking about. Well, I wouldn't uh, know because I can't hear really what the fuck he's know. saying. Well, no. You want to think about what are places are just being changing. Go to the next slide. I literally and can't fucking hear anything. Another thing to think about oh the experience of being near. We have special bits inside our brain that is all about processing <sighs> objects that are uh, within the arm three. And Frank VR okay? guys. Um, so when you when you when someone comes near you and they like put their hand oh it's called face, Anne Frank really House VR like in the Oculus Store. But if someone else does, you really feel it because you're really processing what the that. Fuck? I can't on a normal video give you any sense of that, but in VR I can give you this sense of presence and everything that comes from it. A great experience was created at Carnegie Mellon. Uh, was an experience called Injustice, which was a film VR experience all about. Uh, the problems this is the shittiest stream. I'm really angry at the quality of it, to be movie. honest. You have to make decisions mm -hmm. um, by, through conversation. So it's kind of, uh, you know, you hear it through conversation, actually using your voice in this space. And one thing that's fascinating yeah, just about it is watching people do it. Even though the system has no hand tracking at all. Right, I love... I love... <laughs> with their hands because <laughs> their body believes oh, that God. they're in uh, the place, in the space. Um, so the next slide. Another really low cost version for schools. The yeah, that fuck up your eyes just like that one that Nintendo right? put out years ago. Oh, the, oh, the Virtual Boy? Yeah. Put Holy yourself, fuck, dude. Put the, put the, the guest into somebody else's and shoe. Frank, they're like, Another Crowbar provided a link. Okay, so it's actually a real uh, thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's talking about VR, right. educational VR games. That's yeah, what yeah. this is about. Yeah, that's neat, but it looks so fucking like ridiculous that it was photoshopped in. It looked like someone was trolling them. Yeah, it did. Uh, also, like, apparently, you know, there's no that, evidence for it being bad for children under the age of 13. Is the fact that there is meaningful bias. It was bad for children of any age. This. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's like a okay. And so See, this is that, what's this? What's this session? Q and A rooms. Oh, this one's open, so not moderated. Yeah. You can probably troll on that one pretty hard. Don't. <laughs> The impact Q and A rooms. Is anything going on in the Q and A room yet? Was a, it's was an a impact room. Wow, Jeff. that's so much worse, dude. Look at the terrible What the fuck happened? Quality. What the fuck happened, dude? Uh, they suck at literally doing anything ever. Riveting. Oh, he's reading it. The... Oh, he's bringing people on. Great. I'm just gonna pop back in and remind folks that um. You have a couple ways to ask questions. You can continue to type in the chat, or if you click that blue button at the top. Go away. Networking. What's in your networking? Click the button below to meet someone. No, 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 no. Damn it, Dev. No. Block. Block that shit. Block. Good. Oh, wait, we have to? Yeah, no. We're not doing this. No, no. No, 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 no. You don't want to meet a random person no. on here? No. If you were here by yourself, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Let's do we're it. No. <laughs> I will walk off this goddamn set Listen, right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They can't, they can't see that camera. It's, no. it's like a different computer. No. Is this chatterbait? No. no. Like, okay, no, this PC doesn't have a microphone or a camera hooked up to it. Well, then we can't do it either way, so let's just get. I'll, I'll just hook up a virtual mic and just see what, what, what comes up. <sighs> You don't want to? I'm leaving. No, okay, fine, fine, fine. Really, why? Leaving. How come you don't want to do this? Leaving. Ah, guys, Naomi is no fun. I'm leaving. No, 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 you, no, you don't. You stay right here while we do it. <laughs> Naomi is no fun. Okay, let's go back to the stage. By embodying eight diverse characters across U.S. history, from Ben Franklin to Sonia Sotomayor, it's easy to use. Students set up the scene. I will be a proud house. party pooper. Do it. Good stream content. Control your woman, Dev. Import their script. Have they actually had any and black people? Recording. No. They've all been like white Export, so far. Edit, this is very interesting at all, dude. Performances with teachers and classmates. Stream died. Oh my god. This is revolutionary for education. Are you I sure? Great experience in, uh, testing it with both kids. Can and I play as Hillary, so Hillary Clinton? No fun, new me. Yep. And students. We need a party pooper hat so that I can just wear it on the stream. Do. <laughs> um, the next Dude. Slide there. 
We did this with both. I wonder if we would, like. How, just curious, how, how come you don't want to click on it? Tell me why. Uh, because uh, that would and, just be a crease um, fest that I don't want to be a part of. Um, what, you think someone's going to show up and just be like, I'm here to network and figure out what's going on with video games? And actually it'll just be like, um, it'll just be like me yeah. shitting into a camera? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I actually want, okay. Or I wonder, I, I wonder if people are trolling that. Like, they're just like jacking off and like seeing what comes up. Like, like you know, like Omega or Chatterbait style. The teachers, on the other hand, were very interested in let's make sure we have something. My to son and daughter love using our right VR kind of system at home. They are seven and so 11. Time restricted, but they really love roller coasters and underwater the adventures. The history teacher is very interested in the idea of the Did you see the Omega? Right? Trolls? Okay, you master, remember, remember that CAC FA, stupid 10 15? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you recall the Omega troll? The, the, the Omega trolls. So Omega was basically a chat. App. I know what that is. Okay. So there were like there would be like these girls or just you know anyone would would go on right. Of course I know. And then like the the other camera would be like. You're explaining this to me, but I already know all of this. Okay. What? How people would just troll just randomly? Like you could have a guy pretending to be a girl, and then the fucking other guys would be like jacking off on camera, and then they'd be like, "Dude, the fuck's wrong with you? I'm a man," and they'd be like, "Oh shit!" No, not just that. There was another troll that was pretty common. They had like a pre-recorded video of basically a bunny being killed. God, like a knife. That's dark. Why? I think they're going to eat it anyway. Like the bunny, the bunny was there, and then the bunny would like hung around for like thirty seconds on on the camera. Just like kind of um, sitting there, like oh, hopping around right. happily, right. and like, in the chat room, it's like, she "Show me your tits," or the bunny gets it. And then, like, if so if the girls on the other, on the other end didn't show their tits, they would show like the the the, uh, the slaughtering part for like the for, for killing the bunny. But then, if they did, they would stop. They would cut the feed before it got. To, it was all pre-recorded, right? That's not that's not good. The man was was more funny. And yes. So then what? You this question, well, what is, what that, is the education no, I'm right? upset that you and know about this because you know that that's you, dark. You know that you slaughter you to animals to eat them, to, right? Yeah, I know. You don't know, just show that to randos. That's just gross. Got to get them kitty pics somehow. And, and how do they imagine? I'm obviously kidding. Come on. I'm obviously kidding. Now I'm just upset. The stream has made me upset. You have made me upset. This is a terrible day for Naomi. This was an experience we created. Uh, for the Smithsonian Institution. And the idea was this is a VR experience for a parent and a uh, child to do together. Typically, child puts on the and is in 50 minutes. And the rest of the family is there. Well, I can sleep. I don't fucking care. I don't be here. Together, they work as a team. Um, so if you take a look at this. Nothing, here, LJC. It's all just propaganda. There have been game trailers. I guess this. Yeah, like they have shown game trailers in like every single one except I think for like the educational one. Look at that empty ass, no one's even fucking there conference. Well, no one can be there, right? Social yeah, distancing, bro. So you see that, the, you know, this is, a, this is a parent and child kind of working together. And this is an experience all about trying to identify a fossil. The, the, the person in VR can manipulate the fossils. Yeah, that's fine, just snog. Like, I don't care about the fact that animals get killed fossils. for food. It's just, like, not expecting to see that on the internet and threatening people for news is not fucking okay. Good fucking lord. Obviously. But we know that the business of brushing off is such an important part of the fantasy. Can I brush off this entire thing? They don't talk about how fucking archaeology actually fucking sucks, considering you're just out in the hut and like you're just fucking digging in the ground hoping you find something other than a half broken pot. The Anne Frank VR game is all about showing Anne as a happy girl and ends with Jack Boots marching in a solemn narrator. I really am a paleontologist. Why? And then they start what fucking point? To what? Like you know what would have actually been an interesting like, educational game know, is know, like looking like being Anne Frank surviving the fucking like, Nazi apocalypse. Like but that wouldn't be. Taking, first of all, it wasn't apocalypse. Secondly, it would. It wouldn't be historically accurate. The idea of involving Why? Because she died. She didn't survive. Yeah, I know. The game ends with her death. Yeah. Well, you can't say surviving the apocalypse then. Trying to survive. She didn't survive. It's not apocalypse. Trying to survive the Nazis. How about that? that hide and seek game. game. Exactly. Dude. Exactly. Yes. This is actually a half decent game. Keep talking. Nobody really explodes. Uh huh. It's a game where basically um, you're given a manual mm -hmm. to 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 basically disarm a bomb that's in the game. Um, yep. You have to like read the You'll physical manual. Yeah. It's, a, it's actually manual. a decent game. One, of the, one person is wearing a headset. Now that person is viewing what we see on the right. They just banned me for saying this is good for people not based in the U.S. They don't have enough information. 
and for the people outside, they have the information. So there's a lot of talk back and forth. What? Does it have this a bomb wire? game? Have yeah, probably. Wire, um, in order to figure out how to defuse this thing. And we saw that this was really fun. We used that as a real inspiration for our Smithsonian game. Next slide. And so it's um, called a stage, let, let not a stream, like. in their in their we'll, parlance. Uh, collaborate together. Video on the next. You go to the stage. See here. I'll go, I'll, here's the reception. The booths are just YouTube videos. Get, wait, games to address national health crisis. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see that in a minute. In the default stage. That's where that's where the stream is. Oh, it's just the Q and A rooms. Fucking hell, dude. Nope, it's down. Our festival team is here to help. What's what's this? Best stream. Best stream, guys. Like, best stream. Two people are here. <laughs> Again, if you're here waiting for the Q&A with Jesse, we're just waiting for him to finish up his talk on the main stage, and then he'll be here. So you can sit tight and hang on, and he will be here soon. Okay. Shut up. Yeah, and so what, what's so powerful about that is they're solving a problem together um, because that's how people want to interact. So if you have opportunities to kind of let spectators participate in VR, it, it often uh... becomes the So next slide. Dude, the VR won't even fit on your head with that hair. So you might be thinking still, okay, still, I'm not, I don't know. This stuff is it's still fun and new. stressful. We literally no, just end up having a screaming match on stream, right Amateur Blaze. That's fun. And on the next slide, you'll see <laughs> Actually, there's a four-player game we can play with Dave question. and Dom when we get a VR set. Um, mm, yeah. That won't fuck up our computer so bad. Look, it's the Oregon Trail! I died of dysentery. Did you play this as a kid? I played it once. It was so fucking hard. I was just like, never mind. Dude, we should we should play the Oregon Trail. Trail. Um, instead, Why? they were able to create something pioneering, and because they Is were the just first like a China it simulator. Out, Forty years later, <laughs> no, it's like it's like a zombie <laughs> Oregon Trail. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Ben Dillon, it turns out that our uh, our internet's fucking phenomenal so, now with, with the fiber op. Is, yep. You want to make educational VR experiences. I love Oregon Trail on the Wii. Here. Yeah, I have it on the Wii. It's like, it's like a 3D game now. Um, oh, yeah? You have to, like, line, drive through, much. like, an actual trail, and, like, the, 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 the random, it's still a text game, but you're, like, the actual driving you do. And, thank you. and just, like, as you get to a certain uh, point in the road, just, like, rolls a random event. Uh, and it all happens in text. That's kind of interesting. It was really shitty. <laughs> Probably, yeah. We played on the show, actually, like, her seven years ago. Her hair is getting more and more mussed up every single time we see her. She's probably getting fucked in between all the, uh... I mean, it kind of looks like it. A little bit, yeah. How long till Anita? session and a half. It may, or a couple of after the 40 next minutes. Uh, 40 minutes, will Anita. Will 40 minutes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is the next one? What is the next one? Is it anything interesting? Ah, we. Nope. You just saw that one. Games to address the national health crisis. So that one. Next up, you need us right after that? No. Nope. There's. Hold on. Who will talk about their work at wait, oh, this happens in, oh, this was like, an, on, wait. I think it was at the same time. Oh, no, we did oh, see it. Yeah, it's on a different thing. Yeah, yeah so we're on GameStorm and Curricula. They're still, we're still, we're seven minutes late, though. Yep. There's a keynote, around the game keynote speech, and then... Which I'll note is a former Games for Change Awards nominee. Uh, so using digital technology, te digital interactive pedagogy, the course seeks to build competencies of... Great job. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Jesse. Can they Welcome actually see any of the shit? Why is everyone saying thank you? And Robin Sharma. Hello. Hello, everybody. I'm wow, their audio is super MBA behind. MBA We're like two sentences Matthew behind now. Yeah. From the University of Southern Colorado and Robin from MGIP. We will share with I'm gonna have a fucking heart attack just sitting here. <laughs> Stop rubbing your mic, dude. Who is rubbing their mic? I think it's the, the guy who has the headset. He's like breathing right into it. Probably. So I'm a cognitive neuroscientist and I'm fascinated oh, by the human brain. Oh. And what we do know is that the thinking or the decision My Lord. brain, which is up there in the prefrontal cortex, is actually anatomically connected to the emotional <laughs> For Yet what, Steel Esophagus? Steel. Nope. Skills. ST. I cannot read your but name. I'm just going to call you Fagus. <laughs> shows that explicit instruction and social and emotional learning can lock skills like. The constant breathing. Holy fuck. 
but also holy fuck dude like figure it out and emotional resilience MGIP's mandate is to make bro stop breathing in the mic says Alex Jones <laughs> <laughs> using digital pedagogy. Oh, Alex was finally banned. Okay. Devised Took him long enough. Jesus. A new social and emotional learning framework, which is called EMC Square. EMC Square is designed to basic skills. Empathy for I'm not banned yet. <laughs> Alex Jones again. I'm just going to... Actually, no, I won't. Compassion for pro-social action. Yeah, I was going to... Yeah. I was going to say... Read DM, Dev. Uh, I will later. <sighs> Next slide, wow. Please. Okay, we played Bury Me, My Love, and Gris. So what we're trying Bury to Me, My Love was fucking terrible. Gris is actually pretty good. Ensure that curricula are designed such that they begin to build explicit anatomical connections between the emotional brain and the thinking brain. Because we now know that <laughs> yeah, actually, the though, like, isn't it generally a rule that if you don't have to talk during like a conference like this, you're, yeah, yeah, you, you should. should be muted? Okay, shut, shut, shut the fuck up for a minute. I, I want to check out a thing or two if you don't mind. Why? I do mind. Yeah, there's like the uh, the main room over here, eh? Which is a chat room for nothing. Yep. All right. Um, Look at all these people who are donating to this. Why the fuck is Ubisoft donating? Of course, Facebook Gaming is. Of course, Epic Games is. Of course, it is. Fucking Ubisoft. The fuck you guys. IGDA, yet yeah, they're corrupt as fuck. Not surprised. Uh, of course, ch Child's Play. Fuck you, man. Twitter. Just, just Twitter. So, games to address national health stations. It's down there. It's moderated though, devs. You gotta be careful. Let's see this one. It loads. You gotta refresh the page. Come on, I wanna see. Authenticating, authenticating, authenticating. Fortnite or watching streams or playing um, on the mobile. So first of all, can you please why are you share what up? platforms you primarily focus on? Also, why is there a, a swinging and string there? Also, is that like you your, that your, your light thing? Yeah, probably. Um, what they're supposed to get out of a Fortnite or what, what's desired for oh, them. Oh, we got one good camera now. Yeah. Two good camera now. You feel that you're Gotta wait for the other ones. This guy looks Fortnite fucking dead inside. <laughs> probably like, is. So I can I can get started with that one. Um, thanks, Margaret. The can you guys run a fucking run anything? No, because we are developing what is first and foremost a health tech intervention or interventions, uh, and which happen. They're, like, they're all they're like nodding like, song, uh, like yes, yes, this uh, is important the other work ones we're doing. Yes, of course. Are the interventions are available because it doesn't look the like they are. I can feel my neck snapping just. Just doing this. Oof, yeah, Mr. Fox, store, good lord. Android app store, the Apple store. Okay, he um, has a really, like, a fairly good camera, because I can actually see him now. She yeah. has an okay to camera. It took a little while to get back, set. though. Those, Those two, two apparently just have really shitty cameras, like, good lord. Actually, they're probably... So, where is her camera set that she's standing up for this? Probably on a tripod, because she had literally nothing else. Because she looks like a woman who doesn't do anything like... Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, no, it's gone again. Nope, there it is. Nope, it's gone again. <laughs> not really have the necessary capabilities to oh, be God. able to completely I'm watching this with my 10 year old their, son and you're competing device, with Fortnite um, and have complete ownership of when they connect to Wi-Fi what they see on that mobile device it is often guarded by parents so this is all nothing but people smelling their own first because they're starting to become interested in a medium discovering shit everyone already learned 30 years ago yeah, okay so yeah so here oh they're they're trolling you already there do you want to see okay here I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut the fuck up which all kind of touches on the last point that shut we were talking there's only four people oh just four people oh okay. yeah it's four people oh, there's 100, 101 people who are watching yeah. that wow why um wait hold on you can't pause this by the way the guardian need us here too yeah they're literally all just watching all the, the same, same people yeah so hold on 
This is not 100 people people watching this stream. No. It's 100 people watching every stream. (laughs) Yeah. Your second question was around... So for the whole conference, for all the things they have going, all these different pages and things, there's in total 101 people here. Probably, yeah. You can probably check on here if it's all the same numbers. We have more people than them by like 20 people. Well... But in the first year, we realized that we were competing exactly... I don't think it's a universal chat room. No, it's not universal chat room. But but, but the view count is universal. Well, if you would check the fucking view count instead of just fucking... Well, check the other ones. See if it's all the same. Okay. Good okay. Lord. Okay. There is um, that competition. Like, um, where else? Yeah, the, 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 Q, the help desk? Not that one. Games, oh, maybe actually. No, there's, 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 five. Five. there's five people here. Okay, okay so, so it's not more. universal. The if you would actually check things before making, shooting so your mouth. I wish Zigaton was here to 62 tell you 62 is here. Yeah. First Q&A. Yeah, so you're fucking stupid. This is just... No! No, we're not sharing audio. What are your claim sets? That's because the one we're yeah, watching. 97, 9, 62, 4, by the likes and 25. 25. You can't and what's the main one? Win a what's the main one? Does it even say? Strong scroll down. Team, you, know, like that is, uh, you can't scroll down. Situational that is that design framework considers these sort of large game studios. Will it be but like what you here? Can do is like, no. Differentiate yourself with exactly oh, God, two days of this shit. You're able to deliver. So I think yeah, they're not showing the actual like view count on the mainstream, the but the others years, have like really very few people, at max a hundred. We know you exist. We're not one of you. Good lord. We are something else. We <sighs> sit in a category. I love how I also like literally can't understand anything that any of them are saying. You know, it's it's interesting you say that because they're um, all mumbly. Also, and yeah, no one's bothered to ne- bothering to enunciate one, anything. Said, also, what's going on though is that if they're if they have all these people that are in the multiple rooms at once, they just they just have it open to boost their viewers, yep. and the they just direction. they're not watching anything. Um, yep. They're not actually watching anything. Because yep. I've always you know here's a new game. Uh, about we can assume games. that pretty much anyone who's not typing in the chat is probably not watching it. Yes. However, no, because the people who they're here who watch you don't type. No, no, on this one. Yeah, on this one. Yeah. On this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. What a shit show this Rob. is. Next slide, please. Oh, there's a module on migration and refugee you, crisis. Uh, so as some of you might already This know, is a course that takes... My love is a wait, game it's a 15-hour course a on this game. It's like a phone game. We played it on the show. It sucks. To find way from Syria to Europe. It is a chat-based game where the player experiences her journey by playing with her, hus- with her husband. Majid, who with whom she is constantly chatting. You don't even have to physically the be there, and it's the lowest attendance yet. Yep. This game looks. <laughs> Thank you for saying so, Alex Jones. It's not really a game. It dude. is an intensely emotional experience for the player to be speaking with Noor as he faces various obstacles and has a number of doubts on her journey. The game is primarily designed to be played in the. Also, real- look, non-white people. I want to point. What is the white guy there? I want to point something out. Okay, so here, hold on, hold on. We're gonna go to YouTube. Mm-hmm. You know you just type in the letter Y, right? And I want to look up, like, okay. Miyamoto talks about designing Mario. So, like, here. Here is a video that is doing the exact same thing that these people should be doing. They're not announcing games. They're just talking about how games are designed and what makes them good. And it's eight minutes long. This will actually be interesting. Hello, this is Chris Pratt from Eurogamer, and you're about to watch a walkthrough of one of, if not the CC, most iconic levels please. in video games. It's Super Mario Brothers, it's World 1 1, and, well, we asked Shigeru Miyamoto, as well as Takashi Tezuka. Two, auto translate two. They've also okay. done something similar for a level they created in Super Mario Maker, and you can find a link to that at the end of this video. But until then, thanks for watching. Like, this will be fun. It's already there, Naomi. Fuck. Well, how am I supposed to know? Here's how you do a game design conference. You have a real game and real designers and tell you what they think when they were making levels. There you go. Also, Japanese people are just cute. And how they act. 
これ実は最初いなかったんですよ最初からあのクッパが出てきてでクッパを踏んで甲羅にして蹴るっていうゲームなんですけどいきなり初めての人が甲羅を踏んで蹴るってすごい難しいんですけどあの亀ならやっぱり踏めないとおかしいのでじゃあ亀じゃないやつで敵を作ろうというのでキノコの裏切り者というのを作ろうと。本当はこれ、uh, どっちかと,いうとブラックマッシュを見たいなと思ったんですけど、プログラマーがこれを見て、このプログラマーが、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、ファンタジーセクションで、Now, has the gaming industry regressed? Oh, wait. Fucking. Did he just interrupt me a moto? Time for him to talk. Also, I love you, but this is also boring to me. There's content here, is what I mean. I know, I'm just saying it. Yeah, there is content for people who are interested. Yeah, it's not just like, here's what we think, and here's social justice bullshit. Like, Here, here's how we made Mario Brothers, one of the most important games of all time. Yeah. It's like, okay. Like, good, thank you. Thank you for actually discussing and having insight. Oh my god, really, Bendelin? Jesus. <laughs> Talking about Last of Us 2. Okay, Should we go, go watch there. it? We're gonna go over there. We might get spoilers though. I can't like, find it because of the, 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 the PlayStation Move. Just drag it? There we go. Fuck sakes. Yeah, sorry, I, I couldn't see it because like, the, the Just, PlayStation camera is there. Because you're stupid. It, it's hanging right where, that, where the thing was. They're not talking about this. They're talking about this shit. The next slide, moving on to the next slide. Uh, the Another fundamental aspect of building empathy as a skill is to build learners' emotional vocabulary oh and the ability the audio to name that? and identify emotions of the self and others. Looks the team like built exercises for learners this to tag emotional good. states good. of wow, characters it just took from what they understood while almost three hours. This is fine. And the next slide talks about God. what we built around exercises for compassion. Apparently, there was echoes. So when we talk though, about exercises issue. around building compassion, oh. one instance was one instance was asking yeah, me learners too, many, to get me into too, the shoes of game characters. Too. It sounds like what, they also did as if they're using the OBS, game, they probably they, had they like had the opportunity, the replay the audio to dialogue in their own like words. playing, because but the actual audio source muted. Mm -hmm. So they were so it was behind, so it was going through the whole system and then coming back out. And then when you turn on the actual source audio, they were both playing at the same time, so they had to. The next slide, uh, it's so a when learners play mistake. the game and go through the course online, they complete. Uh, they took the post assessment, which had the same items from Anita. the pre-assessment. While we had a fairly small small sample I'm size, I'm leaving after Anita. I don't care what else is on. We have two no. days. I'm not fucking. I can't. I can barely stand this. The most drastic no. improvement also, in knowledge component. Also, two streams after that is playing Sims with Kidding Garter, and I'm no. We're gonna play Our Sims with a kindergartner. No. And curricula designed God, I'm done. So done. Can have the but the, the unifying power. You can watch it by yourself. I'll do other things. They are helpful for building knowledge where the learner is engaged. Kill myself. And not just passively Games can heal the world. This Shut of digital up. Game with the Stop reading out stupid shit. An online platform. Building for inclusivity. Well. There's all these the great... Don't I'm gonna bite you. No, don't do it. I'm gonna do it. April and May in 2020. And definitely do you hope stream to when playing videos? No, no, to be no, able no. to make a stronger and scientifically robust case oh, for digital game based learning. My God. I would now like to invite my colleague Nandini to conclude the presentation. Oh, hers is not right. Game based courses. And in the course of the following months, what? we will be conducting this study over right? many more students. And oh, no, she, she was muted. Significant like difference first three sentences. Uh, improvements yeah. in um, empathy and compassion too. Best thing about Even trying to dig is to holes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. On social and emotional learning. Oh my god. Like there, there, Master Join us there, there. if possible on the 18th of July. Why would you want that amateur boys? When we are just be me holding in my temper and losing report. it at the very it's end of the stream. It's called rethinking learning. 
social, a review of social and emotional empathy learning really frameworks for India, education no, it's probably just the same amount the entire One of time. the unique features of that virtual launch is a discussion so why did you scroll with children the chat? from six countries. It's, it's literally the same shit. The it's the same, shut up, stop. Here is a link to that. In hopes of fucking finding the something. There's nothing. Next slide, please. Meanwhile, if you have questions or would like troll. to get in touch with us or collaborate with us, please reach out to us and we'd be happy to take this discussion further. Thank you so much and have a wonderful conference. Goodbye. Did the white guy even talk? Did the white guy talk while we weren't listening? <laughs> he might Or was have. he just there? Now, we played Dreams on the show. Yeah. It was like that game-making engine on PS4. Wait. Why are they making a video game political? Hi, My name is Raul Carvajal. And I'm the festival producer over at Wow, I love how I can barely it's hear you. Honor to be why do you have a map of Cuba behind you? And also, why do you have a unibrow on a goddamn national stream? Don't worry, not, almost no one's watching. Dude, multinational, actually. <sighs> Token white man always listens, never speaks. Yep, that's why being white's bad. Hello? Hey, look, it's another white person. Why are Hi. they all like 45? Um, because yes, we can maybe put up the trying to be slide. woke. I'm Can't still young and relevant. Also, she looks like she has some money. Neither Rage Bear, I think. Oh god, dude, say something. Oh, am I supposed to be? You're, able you're to live, see? Grandma. She is. Shut up. Oh, there we go. Hi. Yes. Um. So my name is Siobhan Reddy. Um. I'm the studio director over at Media bad. Molecule. Because they're at a touch. Uh, yep. And I'm here today to talk about democratizing games creation with dreams. So, <sighs> Um, what does that even mean? Democ it's basically letting people who don't usually make games make them. Um, we were founded back in but they don't usually make them because they're bad at the games that they make? Questions. No, 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 no. It's, it's because of uh, systems of oppression and privilege. Uh, That's why they don't make games. Was so when you democratize and games, and it means that really all games must be made by everyone equally. What we care about but that's stupid. Because some people are real bad at making video games. What? No, they're not. It's just oppression. If they, if they were, if they were unshackled from their chains of oppression, they would actually be good at it. And the reception to that was fantastic. Um, we had this sort of brilliant set of Ugh. ingredients: the cute mascot, fun and nostalgic gameplay, and then the tools for people interested in making their own. But all the way throughout development, we were this person's ever played a goddamn video game in her life? Not Probably not. Believed people would create. And you know, Pettis the communism truth was, call we didn't really know. <laughs> you mean Nobuchov? <laughs> oh, God. Wasn't as popular as it is today. Dev, make jokes, man. But so. we did believe. But, <sighs> you literally died. He died. We like, were making jokes before, but there's not really much left. That's not even a real picture of Z um, We just played Zelda mm -hmm. on the goddamn show. That's not what Zelda looks like. Yep. Can you guys actually get, just get a real screenshot, dude? How hard they would like, can't. You don't throw the wooden sword. <laughs> So when we were finishing up with Little Big Planet 2, we decided How do you fuck it up this badly? Really you found a fitting meme? Can we see the fitting meme since nothing else about life really is good right now? Allow people to imprint their visual style Click on the meme! Style, as well as I'm in charge of the show now. Click on the meme! Um, and so we set up two projects at that point. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> I just wanted to play video games. Oh God. So, um... Next slide. Um, what what is dreams? Um, it could be a screenshot uh, from dreams. So yeah, dreams it's possible, right? But it looks like it just did a fucking mock-up. So, um, oh, it's not up one. Yeah, just, it's in the um, uh, uh, so dreams is all of the tools. Oh you have to make my games. god! So what you can see here is oh the my um, god! Kind of pressing Thanks, on things. Here I'm doing a little bit of sculpting. Um, and next, I'm sort of looking at the sort of different modes that we What have. did you send me on Discord, dude? I haven't seen... Um, logic, it's got all the logic... Is there something games. good? Um, is there a nugget? Where, where's your DM? Folder. Yep, there we go. All the logic gadgets it. one would need. All the guides, all the helpers. I'm going through all my DMs now. Um, I got a new one. Brick Muppet. I think the next video is just really quickly put, pushing, putting something together. Yeah, you're not in the top DMs right now, Woozy. Uh, these are all new. Uh, I'm, I'm just... It. There we go. <laughs> super quick. Oh, whatever. Um, 
Grandma Next couldn't up, control her slideshow. Dun, dun. No, actually, Ben, really we figured it's out just, that just show. Like, it's all in there. they're um, not actually in control really of what's going on on that is the screen. They're only in control yeah. of what's going on on this screen. I swear to God. I swear to God, I'm going to have a fucking aneurysm. Yeah, Woozy, I can't like find your DM right now. Instagram filter could spend a very long searching. time just to the skies. Um, mm. And, you know, then I'm adding in a, a little, little piece of grass. Oh, my God. And that's just I am having an aneurysm. Really my nose is bleeding. Through the tools. And that's what it is. All the tools to make games Your nose is bleeding because you're right. dry. It's Jesus. Do you need Kleenex? Do you need Kleenex? Hold on. I think I'm going to go to the washroom. My nose is suddenly bleeding everywhere just from how... Oh, my God. Um, and here okay. I'm in Dream yep. Universe, Dream Surfing. Wow. Here we've got the first time I've ever had sort of a nosebleed features. on stream. Too with, much cocaine. Go. Just uh, go. Yep. Just go. So I'm looking oh, at your um, our banner content. Um, My fucking of, God. Um, he literally did die. Pieces. If he doesn't come I'm back, I'm leaving after chat. Anita. It's fine. Either way, we're so, leaving yeah, after Anita. Basically a platform. We do all the things a platform does in here. It's got like a oh, mm picks, a play later cube, etc. You can sort of dig into any piece of content. I really like to look at this dragon. Guys, look, check out you know, creator, founder, you could just go play uh, dreams. Yeah, they really like monsters. Instead of like this, this cool. because I don't know how much dreams is, I'm but I'm pretty sure it's shaping, cheap enough so that you could just go buy it and see all this shit, or watch other people learn. stream it. So not even just us, just other people. Instead of watching some old lady fucking explain about political shit, well, this is happening. You started, there's a few more in-depth ones in yeah, you can well. just play a video game. I know it's a new um, fucking concept. What am I gonna do after the game conference ends? Maybe play some good games. And I'm going drink into, myself uh, half to death. Just get like me, we have no alcohol in the house, but I'm just gonna get super duper drunk. That says, but, you know, that's my plan um, for today. And yeah, so God. And I'm gonna pop out of dream. Jesus Christ. Because when we played dreams, like it wasn't like it was still really really new. I'm sure it's a lot more popular now. So, and when do we get to point and laugh at Anita? It's supposed to be in about... Jam on every, every uh, couple of weeks. 20-ish um, minutes, so yeah, maybe so a little more than 20 minutes. Not too, too long now. It's supposed to be at 12.10, it's 11.51 now, so... Creators, teachers, new collaborators. God. Next slide. Um, oh, is this one actually in control of her own slides? Maybe she is. And it started at beta, so you're welcome in, to G. Uh, December Fridge, 2018. Pidge. I got a playlist of good Blu game trailers I can link in the chat now. I mean, nope, we're just going to suffer and watch this. Next week, which is very exciting. Um, but this <sighs> talk is about Do it, trolling, Yardy. And highs, as I don't, I don't so condone any trolling of any you sort, know, but if you want to make accounts to... Uh, have you finished bleeding? There's so much uh, fucking blood. It's probably because your nose is super dry. No, I think it's because of this. That might... So Dev like is bleeding choice, profusely. I'm not going to leave the stream to help um, him because you guys are more important than he is. So. And responding to the things that happen live. Yeah. And so therefore finding the happy accidents. None of these are words that I would usually or one may usually associate with game development tools. So for us, this performance word was uh, instructive <laughs> because it meant aiming to achieve a flow between disciplines. Sort of fine, One guys. It's okay. One the many that could be moved between easily. The results on screen Why are there dancers on my screen? Interesting to watch. And most importantly, the tools being at a speed that means that happy accidents could be embraced. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. Guys, enough just to try when has a happy accident ever actually so been a good thing? So the challenge was this approach that is sidestepped. When it comes to video games? That we were on with Little Big Planet. And it also Amateur Blaze, I don't get paid. Our baby behind. Dev just buys me um, gifts and, and thinks it's good enough. At that point was that we had to stay strong and, and not cave. And <laughs> no, truly. Really no! no. <laughs> you could move sort of it's them trying to fun. downplay fuck ups. Excellent. I mean, I guess that's why Ubisoft's endorsing Charge all of this because they just know all about the fuck ups and the glitches um, and the whatnots, and really, right? I mean, imagine yes. Me trying to explain all of that without those yeah, I'm going back. You, you good now? Many times. No. Okay. Well, you probably should have brought more Kleenex with, with you, but it's okay. Fine. I'll just leave it in there for the rest of the show. Is the creeper a technically happy accent? All right. Hi. 
Yeah, it was supposed to be a pig. Actually, that's not true anymore in War Torbar. It used to be true, though, when Doe first left. The hey, hey, guys. Force. Hey, guys. So I, uh, I had an aneurysm, and I, my nose started bleeding during this fucking thing. Because it's so goddamn cancerous, I can't fucking believe it. Yeah. Double Cherry from R3 was also an accident, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That looks like an anime character. because you are an anime character. Would respond and what they would actually need from us. So we launched that. Last I was Dev Sugar Mama for a time. Yep. Really, you know, yeah. really I would buy him things, very expensive create things. Create things. He would pay me back and in a mediocre that, sex, which is why we stopped having it. This is terrible. Tutorial. This is like unironically, yeah. unabashedly yeah. terrible. Okay, it's mostly done. Mode oh. and one that was on play and looking oh. at all of the community creations. Um, no, I bought the switch. I bought the switch. Yeah. Sort of just shows the results of yeah, I'm just gonna. Jams, what should I do with this? Two recent jams, uh, that are community behind the couch. <laughs> there's a desk! Dude, there's so much shit behind the couch right now. It doesn't even matter. Right there! <laughs> and also, um, you know, just. Dude, why the fuck am I back in the fucking classroom at Super Break right now? Right? Yeah. Dave almost broke the switch. Yes, he did, actually. Did he? How? You, you did, too. Yeah. You both had your fucking moments. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I forgot we'd... Yep, skip that one. That's still exactly what happened, Master. Oh, God. I love how literally no one even in the chat is even just... Saying fucking anything? Like, they, it is a few seconds ago, but it hasn't, it hasn't changed yeah. in a bit. Everyone's this looks just, good, but I mean, you could have more than five frames an hour. Dude, look at that fucking beefy rabbit. He's his tiny head. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay, imagine having to be... Imagine being in school right now and having to, like, go to a virtual classroom. Sit in your room all day. Well, actually, haven't you heard that because of the coronavirus, they, like, don't want all the children going to school. They want some of the kids in the classroom and some of the kids learning from, so, like, online. That's, that's dumb. That's just dumb at this point. But, yeah, like... Imagine like having to sit at home and like pretend like you're actually listening to a lecture when you're, you know, playing video games or jacking off or watching porn or, you know, eating. I'd probably be pretty good at that. Yeah. Yeah. There was a dude who like... I used to read books in class all the time and never got caught. There was, there was a kid who like recorded a loop of him just like sitting around for an hour and paying attention and used that as his video while he just did other shit. That's hilarious. Yeah. And it's also really funny because like there are people... There are people. He's oh, streaking. Oh, look! It's a, such an old meme. Okay, there are people who like, they're in their class, right? And then they notice that like their crush Guys, in in called. the Zoom call yeah. has like a 4K webcam. Uh, yep. And they're like, oh no, dude, my crush, my, my crush sells nudes and does porn. Yep. Oh no. Press X to sports. Go, Go puck, puck yourself. yourself. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. See, the games themselves, like, except for a few, like, at least in this particular one, don't yeah. actually look half bad because they're made in Dreams, you know? Well, now that Dreams has kind of, like, come a long way, I, I want to yeah. go back to it. It's been a year since we played it. I want to go back to it. You and Dave should go back to it because you care more about that stuff than I do. You don't care about, like, making, no. making games? And, man. I've shown you some good game design videos. Yeah, that you've I know. No, I'm just uninterested in everything right now. Just, yeah, it's, okay. I'm just done. Done. So Rage Bear, are you talking about the lady or me? I think Apparently, Anita's supposed to be on 13 minutes. Yeah. That's hilarious. Who's he? Send me another DM so it pops to the top of my list. So, high number two is getting to know our audience. Um, when I play dreams, I think about the fact that under uh, every icon, you don't fucking play dreams. dreams. Don't fucking kid me here, world. lady. Uh, they've just shared their you know what you do? You read Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, and the pig detective story is a molecule favorite and provides a really great case study. Five Fifty right? Shades of Grey. <laughs> Um, Seb and Lotte, that, that's what a lot of like 45 year old women um, who are missing love in their life do. They've never actually made a yeah. game before. And, and they wanted to try kinky sex on, without like um, taking any of the precautions. And now work with an international group of collaborators. Give me a moment. I'm going to scroll up in our own chat for a second. Um, they've created a pig detective. And you can see on this page they've created a slew of products within Dreams. Um, but the video that I want to show you next just shows the Revenge of the Rana. Hey, Toomey to you. Hey, RFC dude. Some names I haven't recognized. 
What's going on, lads? Holy oh, fuck. Oh, God. You know, I'm not, I'm not really enjoying our playthrough of Final Fantasy VII too much. Yeah. But I'll take it over this. <laughs> yep. At least I'm engaged with something that's minorly interesting. <laughs> yep. Okay, let's see what, what she is. sent. Let's see what, she, let's see what, let's see what Woozy sent me on D, in DM. Woozy. Oh. Hi, Steve. It's the new Game Plus Expo video. Oh, it's on a different computer, that's right. It's on the, it's on, it's on the show computer, not, the, the, not this one. Mm -hmm. Sign in. Oh, fuck you. Oh, good God. Anything is better than this. I'll watch that off show, man. I mean, we're nearly at what we've been waiting for, so we'll just ride it out. Uh, Pig Detective 2. Oh, boy. PM Studio showed... What's PM Studio? Nope. Meerkat, you know, you have to stay here. You have to stay here. You have to stay. Why do we have to stay here? I don't know. Look at how interested she is in her own fucking presentation. Yep. Super interested. She's doing what I'm doing. Uh. These are all still the dream screams. Like, how, how long has this fucking been? Uh, they've been going for like 15, 20 minutes on dreams. Dreams games. Oh, well, we watched the new game Plus Expo, dude. We watched it on the show. Oh, God. I'm Grover. What's your name, stranger? It's I'm not even synced up! It's not synced up! It's not synced up! <laughs> oh. God. I watched a bit of the Nintendo Treehouse. I wanted to see how bad the um the Paper Mario. Oh yeah, by the way, they ruined the new Paper Mario game. Why? Uh, they took out experience, so it's like an RPG without leveling up. And the other party members in your party don't actually fight; they just like adjust your combat. And they have it set up so that, like, later on you get an equipment that allows you to bypass fighting entirely. So then you're just, like, walking through the through the world. They, they ruined Paper Mario. Love it. And it, it was already, like, on the decline after, like, the third or fourth one, but they fucking destroyed it this game. Yeah, Origami King, yeah. They fucked up. It, like, pe people people got, got to play the, uh, the, the beta of Origami King. And they said that basically they had ruined it like so so much worse than previous than previous games. I like how it oh, is Fallout New Vegas like. Don't you fucking dare slander! Don't you fucking dare! Okay, shut the fuck up for a second. I like how Owen Go to Lib is actually asking like minorly interested questions, yeah. interesting questions, and no one's fucking replying. Yeah, because no one fucking knows or cares. Why are we still on this game, on this fucking game? I don't know. Naomi doesn't know. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'll check it out later, Woozy. Thank you. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, do you high tech alchemy? Awesome. Wait, I saw that. Thanks to the mods of this chat, rapid fire. I guess somebody posted a troll and it got like immediately fucking deleted. It seemed like. I think it was Alex Jones. Might have probably finally got deleted. Rip Alex Jones. More mini games. More mysteries. More. I think we'll move on to the next slide, unfortunately. There's more to There's a lot of pig you kept going on, yep. Um, and that story of that cat that that team... So she just got bored of her own fucking trailer. Yep. Continue trailer for Pig Detective, it's amazing. Someone just posted this to 4chan? Good. Dude, po post our stream to 4chan. Why? You can't kill Alex Jones! It's back, it's back, he's back. <laughs> When I think of dreams, they just removed that, that high or pure our audience. It's learning that dreams is a player owned space. Oh, God. It's like public access television. It's where people can actually share. I like how fast, I like how like, I blinked in his, in his thing. Yeah. <laughs> that was the whole point of making dreams. Oh, that's um, hilarious. The last, um, let me and skip this one. More than games. Games plus. Yep, yep. 
here we go, platform experiments. The Dude, we're fucking dying here too, Jay Real. Like, we've been doing a lot of just put the bullet in me. So if you strike me down, I'll become 10 times strong. <laughs> Oh my god. You know what's actually kind of funny? I like how there isn't even a deleted message. It just, like, disappears. Oh, dude. Bendel and Spur. Yeah, I know. He, this is... Yeah, you were... It's a video call. No. <laughs> but he, he's, he's like... He's, in our, he's our one of our viewers. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's, let's video call him. No. Here, Bendel in. No. Damn it, Devin. Uh, so yeah, Dreamscom was a conference that we put on for the... For our... Uh, Fuck's sakes. Goddamn piece of crap. I have, an, I have an inbox message in this thing. It doesn't work. Okay. Hi, Bendelin. I'm inviting you to a private meeting room. It didn't, didn't put me in the room, but... Okay. Uh, I, I, we, can't, we can't even do it without us having one? No. <sighs> Could you just fucking stop trying to do video calls on a? But I want to dick around with this thing. It sucks otherwise. God. You suck. You suck otherwise. Cause okay, okay. I hate you. I hate your fucking soul. This stream has made me hate you. <laughs> you have heard that before. I need a Sarkeesian. God. Is that working for you either? Wow, dude. God. I love how nothing functions on this fucking site. He does have a unibrow. Yep. Hey, Anita. It's not 1210 yet. They got five minutes. They were like five minutes late. Now they're five minutes early? Is this going to have nothing? Yeah. God, I hey, hate hey, the hey, name hey, Shabon. Hey. What? Want to go get the goldfish? No. Just, I don't, you, no. You just munch on them. I don't even want them. Nothing will make me happy right now. You know what? I'm going to make a sandwich after the stream. I'm going to put my fucking chipotle sauce on it and put, like, tomatoes and some cucumbers and, like, spice it up and it'll be a good fucking sandwich. That's what I'm going to do after the stream is make a sandwich. It's the only thing that'll make me feel right, better right now is chipotle sauce. You want me to go get the, go get the goldfish? You have five minutes. No, I don't want it. Yeah, you hungry I well? want nothing. Except my sandwich. I think you might actually like. Uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, I'm getting the uh, goldfish. No, you're not. I don't want them. I don't <laughs> Are you want sure? them. Because you, uh, this whole event is incredibly slick. Are you fucking sure? Carla Hodge Degler, who's never seen, like, the internet before. <laughs> Pretty much, Tidgy. Pretty much. Oh, God. <laughs> Poked. You gotta sneeze. Poked. <laughs> You're gonna like shoot blood everywhere. Move the keyboard before you sneeze. No, it's just, I'll just sneeze this way. <laughs> Brah! If you cover me in your blood again, I will be very unhappy. Again? Again. When was the first time? You sneezed on me with your bloody nose the first time. Did I? Yes. Did that oh, you should make a sandwich, money. So I've got to go down to the garden and actually harvest. Um, you have fun with a, that. A I bunch don't care. Shit. No, I don't care. Want to help me later? No, fuck you. No, nope. help help you have me, made me, me watch this shit. You are not getting anything from yep. me for the rest of the week. I'm, fuck you. <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting the fucking goldfish for myself at this point. Fuck you. Fuck you. Bye. Hold this, please. Thanks. Don't drop it. I promise nothing. My hands are on the bottom. Don't drop it. Oh God! What stage am I looking for? Yeah, we still have jam out here. It doesn't need to be. Uh, you're looking for the default stage, uh, LJC. Well, at least you're still well in the hospital. I'm glad you're doing good. My other accountism. Mm. It's becoming, has become a PG-13 stream, yep, 100%. You wanna? Yep, also, how come the president isn't fucking, like, making, talking about shit? Like, the in-betweens? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. As you didn't want some, you immediately reach for them. We got some, we got some gold, we're sponsored by Pepperidge Farm! That's why we remember <laughs> this shit. 
Torvart. What was the other few times? I don't even remember. Oh, dude. These, You've wrecked these... so much shit on this show. I have not. Other than, okay, I, the only time I remember is the switch time. You drop stuff. Don't drop, talk with your mouth full. Drop controllers all the time. Yeah, really actually, you go out here and you see Anita, refresh them. Nope, not yet. Yeah, you just heard the fucking sofa. Stop. I have no idea who Eve is. Eve Crevache is some other SJW on Twitter. Oh, God. So bored. This was terrible. Maybe Woodworm. This was absolutely terrible, dude. This is the worst thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. I would take the return of the Third Reich over this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even a Nazi. I'll just deal with it. Mm-hmm. Maybe LJC. She's a 15-year veteran of the nonprofit sector, so she's a professional money launderer. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, Torvar. That was a scary game. Oh, yeah, that's right. Before we had this, we had like a, like a full bar that goes across the whole couch that was set. And uh, Naomi flipped it during a scary game. I know, I almost flipped it. Yeah. Dude, if I give you this thing to play a scary game, you'll throw it. No. I promise you. Here we go. Well, I hope that our next session on the civics and social track will explore the mental needs of people who make and play games. Eve Crevache, executive director of Take This, and Anita Sarkison, the executive Sarkison? director of Feminist Frequency, will discuss their respective initiatives. Anita Sarkison? And the opportunities to address the most pressing needs in the games industry. Please welcome Anita and Eve. It's Anita time. Hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Well, at least good morning to us on the West Coast. <laughs> it's a little early. And their audio's um, desynced I'm again. To be here with you. It's, a little, it's not o'clock. You need hello. to get up. Everyone at home, we can't see you, which is a little you bit weird a, a as public fish. speakers, but you know, this now. is the new times that we're in. Um, so I thought maybe we could start about, um, you know, like just briefly who we oh, are and one. our organizations, and then we can get into it. Sounds good. Go yeah, you for it, Anita. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm Anita well, Sarkisian. If you know me, you probably know me from uh, Feminist Frequency, no. where I did we cultural won't. art, do cultural criticism about oh, so they're doing uh, pop two, culture they're in general. But She's on for five minutes. Doing yep. uh, analysis of women in video games. Oh, no, 15, never mind. Uh, it's a different I'm thing. Different stage. To talk okay. about and why I'm on the sort of mental health uh, session with Eve today is that we are about to launch a hotline Not specifically for the games the industry, providing an emotional uh, emotional support for folks so in his... who make and play games. So I'm really excited. That is coming up on August 1st. No, August 3rd. Um, and you can find out more about that at gameshotline.org. And maybe I'll mention it again before we wrap up because... It's coming up Games so soon, Eve. I'm org. so excited. We're <laughs> really excited too. Um, and um, the reason I'm here is because uh, I'm the executive director of Take This, which is a mental health organization that serves the game industry. So we prim hotline. primarily do advocacy, training, and workshops what? for uh, the game industry. Games and also uh, talk about and consult with game companies about game design. Um, that supports uh, good mental health representation and good mental health practice. Time to get a burner phone, um, yes. And uh, we are very excited to be partnered with the, with the company. She just like fired them all, closed the company, started a new one. Yep. Um, and uh, really happy shit. to know that there's going to be an emotional support hotline that has game competence in it. Um, and here we are. So why and can't Anita, they just I want use you to a regular just, hotline? Um, kick off specifically what we're suicidal? going to talk about today. And no, I, this is a legitimate question. I don't understand. Blue Hunters 2.0, yeah. Uh, 20 or so minutes. 
Yeah. So, um, I, we, I, we were talking, uh, about what we were going to talk about. Mental health and games is such a huge topic. Uh, and there's a lot of angles, but you know, for both yeah, some and issues I, right now, the, Anita, it uh, just fucking came on board. Allegations, um, the call outs with regarding me too, um, are primary, are kind of primary right now. I think we, doesn't he look like a blow up doll. Holy fuck. She does. We are all she's talking about me trying too. Trying to navigate and figure out, um, how we support folks in this moment and what that looks like. So we want to talk a little bit about that, right? Like, you know, yeah. kind of diving into it. Um, and then, and then we want to also address kind of like, what do we do? <laughs> like, how do we move forward from here? And what does that you look grift, like? You grift apparently. Yeah. And I think Anita, the reason why we someone really say want to something, I didn't even notice that the mods did because, anything. Um, yeah, people are getting the, banned and mad in there. In the context, especially Boss people are of going crazy. this conference and Games for Change and how we address Even my coffee social good or social yeah. project a final drop. through games, uh, we uh, need to understand um, the context in which they're made because you can't really make truly transformative or change-making games if you aren't thinking about the conditions under which they're made and the, the um, environment in which people Garbage are human. these games. And so I think... Um, it's really key for us to I just focus about. on. Um, I can't. I, the, I. I must say, you can't. You shouldn't the do this. Experience of how those are made and the ability of a diverse. It's still there too. Holy um, fuck! How many of the games for change people will be outed as sex pests in the next year? All of them. Every single yeah. one. Part of that process. A few, so, probably five years, but um, yeah, most of them. Toxicity at any place in this in this pipeline. Hooray. Tell V to shut up. And, and experiencing games. Is he streaming? Is he streaming Anita? Distress to everyone, and that is why I'm here, and that's why I want to have this conversation. Yep, Master Gregor. Yep. And so, um, Anita, yeah, I'd I know Master Gregor. Talk a little pretty bit bad. about the, uh, Alex Jones the got movement, axed again. movement. Garbage human's finally gone. That's happening yep. right now, and um, and some of the context around that because. Um, because it's not Keeping new. Keeping a safe but, space. Uh, but it is a moment. Thanks to all the yeah, toxic absolutely. gamers in here illustrating well, so, the points. Well, so, you know, I think it's important yeah. for us to understand that, safe you know, space, abuse and racism if and you misogyny ever think that is I'm not going, unique that I'm to wrong the games or going too far. I will remind you of um, this. But I think mm -hmm. that we and have how, now, now that we're actually encountering it, I was always right. Mm -hmm. And 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 I think All that these that's talks will be available on our YouTube channel after the festival. So it's Cassie Baralis, who's the organizer. She fucking looks like it. Okay, so I will make... Me to reckoning back I will make August, an SFO video on um, this, August guys. August 2019, when several, several I don't know what their YouTube channel is. If you guys find it out, um, send it to me. Um, I'll, I'll look for it too. In the games industry. But I will make the video, okay? Um, and at that moment, we, I, many of us who were, you know, around and paying attention were like, oh God, <laughs> this is like, this is it. We need to really address this. And there's many of us who have been dealing with, um, online harassment who have been dealing with really toxic fan bases and none of that is disconnected from a uh, larger Thank industry you. that I, I would argue in some way encourages um the these sorts of practices and if it doesn't encourage it it's not dissuading it that's you know talking about online harassment and toxic fans is slightly different considering topic how that decent I think the audio is related but all not, what, not exactly what if we have time we'll get into it um, <laughs> Alex Jones says so i think it's important rights. to understand that this isn't the first time that the industry has been um confronted on a really big scale it's just kind of amplified in this moment so over the last about a month or so um hundreds of people have oh, there of, will be some of all genders have come forward with stories about different levels and different types of abuse from across the industry and this like being isn't criticized, just in very employment abusive. right mm -hmm. this isn't just boss or sort of networking events this is also in streaming communities and content creator communities um i think those were the spaces that we hadn't really heard change. a lot from in terms of okay someone dm that so to me in discord i think I don't we're lose in it. this I can't moment grab it right now. where one i gotta say i'm really sort of excited <laughs> which is a weird word to use in this moment but i'm so excited that let's folks go who have been <laughs> oh my holding god dude all don't, of this don't. Trauma and holding all of this pain and yep. feeling someone like dm me that link in discord okay it, thank like you they won't be believed are able so i can't to get it on this computer and are able to tell their stories and i think that that's the first step of of the next process that we need to go through of of really believing folks who are coming forward about their stories and reckoning with the fact that like what is our role in this and what have 
Yeah, you can believe when, What have we done to facilitate a space like, where this is allowed? There's a difference between believing it personally there? and wanting something done about it legally. So, yeah. um, Two different things. <laughs> yeah. I was like, thought done. <laughs> but I think, um, Eva, I'd love to hear, you know, as someone in a, in a as the ED of Take This, which yeah. directly addresses advocacy in, in mental health and games, what do you see as the biggest concerns with what's happening right now and moving forward? Um, well, it's a lot, actually. Um, one of the reasons why Take This um, is concerned so much with harassment and abuse oh, in the is industry that the viewer is because did Alex of Jones, the I, I mental, click on and I could... um, trauma that it causes. Is that the viewer count? Yeah, that might be actually, yeah, I was thinking about it, yeah. Oh, okay. And, and that's, it's, comp it's, it's not just... Jesus like, Christ, that's, mother that's, accountism. That, 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 that's good. I don't know if... Trauma or, or some level of how accurate it is because of it. Cool. It's also <sighs> that people who hear about abuse... Well, at least when you're out of the hospital, you'll be very thin. ...get re-traumatized in these moments and other people Like, there's definitely not that many people here, you know? Um, so a certain who, level who of trust knows, right? in knows? people who've been identified and it's certainly uh, less than like the main allegations that have like or people who yeah. have trust in existing institutions uh, <sighs> lose trust and experience this this level of uncertainty Alex and destabilization that's really kind of um, unsettling and scary yeah <laughs> to be in this moment when you know people that you thought just you knew it. or thought you tr could trust what? suddenly are identified and um, God. So we we see this moment. As, He's asking um, for a shadow ban. As overall, uh, very complicated <laughs> and um, very hard for people to. Oh God, um, shadow bans are kind of shitty emotion, though. Yeah, they are right? stupid. And, yeah. And, I, I have concerns. Like, especially if you get like not not according to this, but I know Reddit but does shadow bans. Especially if like you just have a mod who's who just like shitty and just shadow bans you, and you have no idea because why because they just and, won't respond. Um, you know, you have no idea. So you're trying to post and, shit, but um, she's never gonna sh give up her grift. Bad things to happen to those. User people. report doesn't uh, seem to be working. Also, don't also Nita, why are you showing off to cleavage to, there? Um, you don't have much of it, but still, like why? So unmoored because these allegations are hitting you know, large institutions and major figures in the industry. Um, and that's scary in its own way. And I have to contextualize this in the, um, because we're in How the middle you of me me? Um, a major pandemic and um, a major social movement, the Black Lives okay. Matter movement. One. So there's a lot Two. of instability Two. in our broader Two. world. And Six. you add this on Seven. top. And that's, Nine, that's, ten, that's really hard nine, to handle and 12, complicated. 15, and so it's 14, a time when... 15. Um, 16, that's ripe 17, for 18, anxiety and distress, 19, mental distress. 20, and um, so I want to say kind of as, as a, a, as a leader of a mental health organization, yes, this that is movie. a time when you are going to <laughs> God, Deb, how <laughs> dare you bring goldfish <laughs> crackers out here to fucking try and push your fat fetish on me? Like, how yeah. fucking dare <laughs> you? You have been fucking me too. Like, I can't also, believe that you even tried to do that in front of so many people. Don't actually Good fucking lord. And that's oh, well, there we go. It's not great. Rip. I guess my career is and over. So we Dead. want to provide Cancel Dev. with the sense Canceled. of understanding and, and grace that like now is the time to change things, but also now is the time when you're going to feel the least secure. Now is the experience. time to have your power grab, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. I, one of the things that has been on my mind a lot Alex around Jones. this is yeah. accountability. Alex Jones. Alex Jones. Um, Alex and Jones. I wonder if Alex we can talk Jones. about that a little bit. It's pinned. Um, it was up there. Yes. Yeah, so Why was it Natalie pinned? Lawhead, they probably was accidentally one of the first hit people the wrong to come button. out about That's abuse fucking, in It's the pinned again. In, um, the... <laughs> The August round. I feel so. I don't. I just. Mean to I don't do that. Don't do it. It's just there were. There's these bubbling up social movements that, as an aside, like when one person comes forward, it empowers other people to come forward. And I think that um, acknowledging to be the fair, bravery of everyone, but especially there. the first. Well, what if we come forward about all your corruption, Anita? It's, it's very scary to be and out on the ledge by though. yourself, hoping that you'll be believed. So, I got IP ban um, pointing out their racism. Natalie Lawhead was one of the first ones to come out and. Uh, she wrote a, or she spoke at Indicade East or Indicade Europe, um, I think last year, and talked about this idea of of accountability. And so oh, I just want to shout out that she's already been having these conversations in this space. Um, and you know, I think that <laughs> our our natural or not natural, our inclination is to say, oh, well, you God. created extreme harm in our community. I Peace out. Dude. I can't, like, I can't do not this. That it's but, um, but it's 
in large part men. Um, <laughs> so it's easy to just say you're done and we're done with you and we're going to throw all your games out and we're going to, um, you know, like just kick you out and you got to go find another place to be and you can never work in this space again. And I want us to uh, maybe take a minute to think about that reaction um, and think about what it means to actually repair harm. Right. What it means to oh boy, um, need a cancel culture. Okay. Hold people in our communities, keep them in our communities, and hold them accountable in those spaces, because we don't. This is to be fair. Those chat mods are doing a good job. Who are the fucks running the streams doing a terrible job? You have to other should upgrade to fiber like, like me. Not the, we think the way to figure out how we um is to figure out. You know, taking cues from restorative justice. I and think she's anti cancel culture if it comes for her, but not anybody else. Um, in yeah, terms probably. of maybe the person who has been harmed doesn't want to go through a process and doesn't want to um, have any communication with that person, but it doesn't mean that the, the person who's created harm can't work on themselves, can't repair the harm that they've done in these communities. <laughs> and then what is that? What is that um, transparent Please stop spamming process our chat. <laughs> over time? So that person can come back and be an active member of our community with with forgiveness, with understanding, because they did the work. You know, yeah, see, that makes sense. Now they're saying with forgiveness because yeah, they realize that people on their side of the political spectrum are starting to get canceled. Because yep. that's why um, yep. we can't we can't have have wholeness. We can't have a sense of progress. We can't have a sense of hope, and hope is really important to to mental well being. Uh, without us, uh, without those opportunities for transformation and reparation. And I think um, people get a little bit scared of that process because um, it's hard work, right? It's, it's hard work to bring people in and to, to do the work um, and to expect that of others. And it can be hard to do it, especially while also protecting victims. It's funny because before Me Too, Zoe Quinn got Me too um, like in 2014, yeah, Wolf Wozniak was sexually assaulted by her. People just people said, "How I dare you accuse her? She's a woman." And it's like, yep. um, repaired she's still fucking. Don't you know that sexual assault and rape doesn't exist for men? They should just be lucky to even be looked at by a woman. There's yeah. a larger Did you know that, context Dev? in the game industry that abuse and misogyny yeah. inside the game industry. <laughs> <is> <laughs> other types Come on, that was an easy joke. Come on, and other ways in which folks are mistreated, right? Like. You still the, remember the Greyhound the, bus meme, man? Eh? Um, Only a few people remember that because it was like a very uh, the private space meme. space in which it's okay to harass somebody sexually is also the space in which it's okay to do other things to exploit people or mistreat them, which like how Anita exploited her think about employees. The, um, the way we make games and the way we think it's okay to portray characters and the way it's okay to construct communities. Um, and, and spaces for games to Yeah, that's a good point, Fenlander. And I mean, so to be fair, it's, Anita it's has really, said that you shouldn't be doing really that, so I guess she is against cancel culture. About calling let me actually... Changing systems let, me, let me be a little bit serious here. Okay. The things more, that they're saying um, are at least surface level actually pretty accurate and okay. Yeah. However, it shouldn't be coming from these people because yeah, these um, people are the ones who are doing all this. Understandings yeah. of how games like, fuck you. And Maybe, communities I don't know of about games Anita, is. I think like we can take a, a general, cue from you know, intersectional like the types feminism. Of well, the idea shit, of intersectionality yeah. is that we need to understand how different types of... Like, I did a video yesterday on how the radical left is sometimes right on things. But it's funny because... Again, to oppression change. and privilege, men, right? So understanding love. the difference of, um, you know, I, I, I've read, I've read, I've read the books, yeah. Kimberly um, uh, Crenshaw, who was talking about the uniqueness of being a black woman in a, a business situation. And so, like, while women are, white women are oppressed, black women oh, hey, are Jones oppressed by race and yeah. gender. Just as right. an example, I think many, um, hopefully many folks here understand that. So I just want to take that that sort of complexity and apply Fuck it off. here to Other what you're saying, yep, in terms they don't of matter. it's Gotta important focus that on we um, it's important that we can understand that it's not just you can't separate necessarily the game from the experience of making a game from the content of a game from the fandom of the games not a single um, fucking one pixel it's been two hours of yeah, literally them so talking about I, social and, justice. And I saw this a lot it was a social was justice games conference. That's not games true. They like, have shown I games that all the, just looked semi shitty. Right, the representation <sighs> of of figures hey, and like, sexualization and violence. Is your internet back, dude? And it wasn't separate from the community. 
right? It wasn't right. separate from our engagement with it. And so I really love uh, yeah, you know, when you talk about my, that My point of that of video was just basically that. The, sort of, mm -hmm. the exploitation the around crunch. sometimes has correct formulations of problems. That all, all their solutions um, just with suck. Mm -hmm. mental health and um, with... All and oftentimes they are the, they are they about. are the, yeah. the source I mean, of the problems that, said, that are, that are you know, happening. Take this, you know, so it's like out of fuck off, paper, dude. Uh, about a year ago, on the state of mental health, that was the point of the video anyway. And in that paper, I identified crunch not as a um, a cause of mental health uh, distress or mental mental distress, but as as um, as a <laughs> symptom. <laughs> you help make progress culture. in gaming wouldn't help and you engage their side of your argument. Uh, they're never going to do that. I, I, you might not. It's such a, you know, kind of. <laughs> no. Um, you might not be with me. It's such a keyword in the industry. Yeah. But, but uh, I still agree that, with you, dude. Yeah. Because of all that, the. Um, all the uh, that being a symptom is this. Is, is part OG, of that yeah, they are. Yep. I was is, just like, I know um, LJC. Where that, do I that, know that uh, from? Yeah. From which uh, uh, right. harassment and abuse come from. Right. Yeah. Totally. Sorry. Stumbling. It's early here. It's, um, <laughs> it's way too early. Well, so. <laughs> so oh, God, dude. Exactly it's 9 a.m. That's I want exactly I want the communist revolution, that, but I wouldn't be working um, a farm at nine a.m. That that in a in a you place where a where the like level I of yeah, I disrespect for people's safety and well being. No, Commies uh, are always like, if the revolution comes, we could all work on on company. collectives, and they they don't, they don't get up to the fucking all pen. Kinds of they can't even clean their goddamn room. Um, yeah, pixel, pixel. In the community, this has been an E three event. It's three days long, and it's all just social justice conferences. I know. Personally, how helpless it can be to be targeted with abuse. I know how helpless it can feel to watch folks being targeted by abuse, being a bystander in that. You and made I it all up, Anita. Sometimes these, you know, we, these moments. We saw your soft puppet account. You know, like people it was like, care, right? Like, she's they like oh really, my god, they don't I got sent this abuse, and she like posts like the tweets, and the tweets are like three harmed, seconds old. But it feels like such a massive, and it's like, huge how did you problem. See um, these it feels so that quickly uh, impossible to grapple with. Did you log out of the fucking account and then just like posted the screenshot from your other account? A little bit about. Are there things that the audience listening now can do or or think about or prioritize in terms of being involved? She had the in devolver one E three, yeah, not PS four, yeah, so, no, yeah. Sony, Sony, Sony E three. Yeah. That was like it was actually like a good um, yeah, one. The, like, you know, it was still semi boring as most um, conferences and I, and are, but like new, new hardware. Really it's cool. About is um, we still have Xbox to see though, so who knows? Because it's a it's going to be a resource for people um, that is game literate, um, but we. We are They're not actively working chat, to dude. create new structures yep. you're a pleb. You know, that, yep. that will provide people with the support. Um, but in the meantime, I love how none of these there, people seem to understand how online also, streaming um, like conferences work. Like they're not. Like, there might be a chat, media, but the chat is for those, all um, chatters, not fucking in terms of like, ensuring the streamer uh, in a conference like others. this. N Nintendo did theirs, sure. dude. So, it was literally um, just. Announcing uh, the I'm arms like, character what, in Smash Brothers. About? That's all Nintendo did. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> um, theirs is done, well, and they the only things did Smash. I was thinking about here is, uh, for me, the first thing I oh, always Smash want to encourage Mario, folks the is King. to just That's educate it. yourself. That's all they had to I announce. think that too oh, yeah, often we think we watch a YouTube Oof. video or read an article, and therefore coming. we like, now know everything about how okay. to be uh, a good ally or accomplice in a space or understand the issue. And I just encourage folks to recognize and understand that learning about privilege is a lifelong process. And I encourage you to integrate that into your life and recognize that like reading books is great. <laughs> right? Like really yeah, see, diving like into that, listening to, is a to lifelong books. So basically spaces. you can never actually um, complete the work that you're supposed to set out to do. Understanding you can never actually how, be good enough. Um, yeah, no. you, will, you will always you know, be For example, if you're in a position of yeah, privilege generally. in your workplace, learning and figuring out how to use that to support the folks who don't have as much privilege. Because okay, that's what we're stream. seeing right. a lot of. It's an exploitation what? of power, oh, right? Okay. It's folks with power who are X86. taking advantage of folks without This is power. Games for Change, so, um, you and know, a three-day E3 three event actually met where they just talk a, about social like justice in conferences. Last year when, when this went okay, down, but like, how many like, people like, do have actual stuff, privilege, right? you know? Um, like, and for me, I, I don't think know. that we like, gotta start building. I I I, I can like real, recognize the privilege I have for being young and being space. you know a semi um, and so, semi attractive like, boy, like girl, like you know, so being young and being able to really use my cute factor to like the structures manipulate conversations and situations where I want to. Yeah, I know it doesn't work with you, but I mean with like customers and stuff. Like I at work can use the example of I rarely get yelled at by customers. You know, because you're always like very like bubbly and like. How can I help you, sir? Yeah, but like I find. Find that my male um, cashier cohorts get yelled, get yelled at yeah. more like, because, like, unless they, it's just like, um, you know, like I guess privilege would be 
like a benefit yeah, that you have that is just based on like being alive. Some something about you. Yeah. Like and it's like okay, fine. I get it. Like a trait you know? that you can't like that you just naturally yeah. have. Right. Yeah. That just exists um, by you being alive. The, you know. Like yes. I understand what they talk um, about with privilege, but they're always just hey. Ben Shapiro. Ben hi, Shapiro. Hi, but like they're always. I just about, Don't do it. Um, they're always yeah. just, it all just like okay, like being <laughs> white is a privilege. It's like no. No, Depends. It can um, be. It can be. It can be. It can be if you work in like a racist yeah, space. But, but but here's the thing though. The whole thing with privileges though is that pretty familiar with the word in most cases, even though privileges exist, they do not override your own behavior. Yeah. You can have privilege, and then you can like completely fuck it up for yourself. Yeah, advantages and equal privilege. Well, I, I just say it's just, it's just a different word who, for it, right? Who recognize like, the, the whole check your privilege. You know, Be constantly aware of your privilege. privilege. It's like, no, fuck you, you know? I am not my, my demographic. No. Yeah, but libraries are a thing. I don't know. And, um, and also, in, uh, almost everyone uh, has a Wi-Fi connection now, and, and there's books online. To shine, yeah. And like, also to... Um, Trying to to advocate yeah. for checking your bias is more important. How you think is more important than than your, than your demographics. Yes, yes. Yeah. agreed. Uh, because that's really we have we have these. Because there there are ways to actually you know be a little bit racist. If you like you see a black guy, and just be like that guy's going to be a thief. I'm going to like like just kind of be more on guard. It's like well that is probably a little bit racist, you know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like if you're not actually doing anything to him differently. And it's just yeah. in your head. It's um, like, well, whatever. Yeah, Who I cares? Think the word you know? I don't want to thought police people. Yeah. Like you said, if you, as long as you treat people well, so I, I try all this privilege and, together, and oppression so and and bias, it. none of it matters as long as you are treating people like well. You're treating them as they like deserve to be helping. treated. Like, all right, you, you take everyone as an individual. If, if you're not he's a thief, then treat him as a thief. Mm -hmm. Don't treat him as, a, so as like a black person who's a thief. Just he's a thief. That's it. Creating a better world for an, anyway, yeah. a, like a liberatory world for everyone. Um, and and you know, I, just to be super blunt, there is a long history of allies being awful. Like, yeah. like you. <laughs> the longer that you're in activist spaces, the longer I think it. it the, the more experiences you have with, you know. For example, men saying that they're feminists and, and being really abusive, right, uh, behind the scenes. Or That's like every male feminist. Quietly at home. Or white folks who say that they're an ally to Black Lives Matter but are then going about um, perpetuating awful, you know. That's you, you know, Anita. Maybe something as simple as like always speaking over their black Though you're Jewish, even. but still. Still counts. That's not what I mean, too. Jews are like Schrodinger's issues. white. So there is a... An inherent distrust you know, of allyship uh, in a up. lot of I'm communities. I'm always interested because, like, I get spoken over who will like, a lot by some people that I know. And I'm always, sometimes like, too. I'm trying yeah, to stop I, I always I wonder if it's just how to more like human. they're just like, around just, people that, that right? just speak being over literally everyone and they just think they're being racist or if they're actually being racist. Well, the thing is, we talk about each other a lot because we already know what the person's going to say. We've been together for like no, no, I'm thinking about like coworkers and stuff. And like, like, I'll literally in the middle of trying. And to say and something I, and they'll just my, talk over um, with their own story i'm like oh fucking okay then you know the but i always wonder if like like do people who talk work, about do other people being racist because they're talking over them is, that if that person just likes that yeah. Just, yeah. or if they're actually happen. being you're racist. gonna make mistakes you uh you know i'm apologizing all the time to people <laughs> for saying dumb things like yeah. it happens when does and the I next session start that and internalizing and accepting that will help you bounce back and be more resilient and be ready to keep going um I think, yeah, I think there's also something, um, you know, I come at this. That's actually from a good a question. In terms of moderating because, and minimizing um, online abuse from trolls, at what point do you think day, a platform right? should be held accountable and versus individual the, users? Um, if the platforms are being neutral, they shouldn't be held accountable at all. What we, yeah. w I, I think about the amount of vulnerability and emotional complexity that's involved in doing this work. And um, that this is the terminology used in academic, work. sociological, and analytical spaces. Don't roll your eyes at ally or privilege. And uh, in my case, it takes therapy. <laughs> this is basically day. like we are and we are the smart ones. Really we are in the ivory okay tower. Shut up, to pleb. Know that this yep. is going to be hard. To recognize that it's that that comfort is a privilege, so you have to be uncomfortable with that. Involved and um, to uh, to take responsibility for your own emotional and personal growth. So that you can be in a place to be, hum um, to have humility and to be vulnerable. How dare you talk non-English okay on this on this chat? 
That emotional maturity oh, is God. therapy is privilege. Everything is a privilege. And unless you're um, like dirt really poor, being harassed every single work. day, you all um, have privilege. And it will make you a better like homeless, overall, dirt poor, right? Being harassed by and literally I mean, everyone that you, you see. Know, related to you are that all too, privileged. I've been about Congratulations. Like the understanding that folks are at different places emotionally, right? Like the, the, the healing process of going through a traumatic event, even if it was 10 years ago, you may not have been like, you may never have dealt with it in a way that feels um, healing and, and transformative in some ways. The and problem so just with understanding this and having idea space for folks in, is that it means that in this moment and it can also be used as an excuse to anyone who's actually that, like, harassed and needed. Like, sorry, I was in a bad place. Level and we're not yeah. all at the same you know. place when it comes to um, interrogating our own mental like, health and that is always the issue like yeah you can be in a bad place but spaces. the onus is still like, you know, you know yeah. I, I be a good person she's not talking in a shitty place she's not talking about that though she's just talking about only the mental health and not the actual moral side of the argument so um you know i just want to shout out the hotline really quick i think that both um take this and the games hotline are spaces that you could get involved with use the hotline use anita's hotline it's not even ready it says on the front page, it's not ready yet. Stop really promoting a thing that's not ready hotline. yet. It's at gameshotline.org. We are launching on August. Recognize the pioneering work done by Zoe Quinn and Crash Override. Is that still there? Um, we will feel yeah, like this thing doesn't doesn't work anymore. It people. died like two years <laughs> right, ago. Like, yeah. we, Zoe we Quinn took, took a shit ton of money and just ran. Service and to Love trust it. us. Um, wow. We understand what the games industry is. <laughs> Hello, Suicide our, Hotline? Our like a place in order. Call them oh, Alex, the Andrea, and if you leave like the industry and it never changes, how does it grow? It doesn't because more people will leave the industry and then it will die and then really there will be a new one that takes a lesson from that dying industry being like, okay, um, let's not do that. And because there's not <laughs> you know, a lot of That's how fucking you get new kinds of businesses. They discovered LJC. Pretty sure LJC is a troll. I don't think so. No, no, they're not a troll. They're just like, they're just talking. They're not actually a troll if they're bringing up good things to talk about. So we want to be that. They're talking. They're just saying things that are different. And yeah. on a on a structural level, take this. Like, is, is can't mentally handle a certain industry. Isn't you also need to leave the industry rather than expect the industry to change. Like everyone's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> look like understanding. He's a troll. It's like what, um, he's not a troll. For How many different opinions in trolling? <laughs> Apparently so it is. Thinks, it know, is in a safe space, Dev. <laughs> okay. You know, what do you think? Somebody says someone who responds to this far left is giving nonsense with no one actually thinks that. So, there's reservations um, and there's no moral injunction. Wanna, and um, invite people to come join um, us. Um, bullshit. We're, we're reviewing it right now. Do they think this? Everyone here thinks this. And thank you, everyone, for having us. Yeah, we'll be in the impact room. So if you go to hop in the sessions tab, we'll be in the impact room. And there should be a link on your screen right now. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. You're in the impact room? Impact room. Ugh. Give. Not quite here yet, almost. Hi, everyone. Hi. Looks like folks are starting to trickle in. Hey, Hi, Anita. Anita. Hello. I'm so much closer than I was on the <laughs> other screen. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, folks are starting to find their way. Hopefully, Eve finds her way as well. Yeah. Um, I am, uh, for those of you that don't know me, probably most of you don't know me, actually. Um, I, I have am a question. DJ Moreau. Um, when, Diana Nita, when Jean, are you, you going DJ. to pay your employees? Um, and <laughs> should I, to should I send it? To there it is. Should I send it? Eve, um, should I send it? Depends, but did you sign um, it under? My, my real so name. I well, think, then perhaps you shouldn't um, send it, Dev. Yeah, I don't fucking have, care. A uh, bunch of folks here. So I think we can go ahead and get started. Um, just to let you know, I will disappear. and You should see your employees sort of, um, from manage your dead company. From the yeah. chat. So if you have questions, feel free to um, type it in the chat. And um, I have a will... question. Yeah. <laughs> I have a logistics question before you go. Um, yeah. Under chat, is is it is are people posting under an event or the session tab? Like oh, the session, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. yeah, Great. and it should kind of automatically be on that one. So, um, and we have about fifteen minutes. Unless it's really you know going great, I'll maybe extend it a few more. But um, I'll let you two take it away. All right, I guess I'll have to fucking sure. do a burner account. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Fine. Mm -hmm. Wow, it brought me all the way back out. Yep. All right, all right. Wow. You're still in there. Um, wow, it's just different. Okay. Wow, that's, that's kind of awful. Okay, so let's, let's go to... um. <sighs> 
Come on, this is actually a little bit fun. A little bit of... Has a single good thing been announced? No. no. So, you're going to watch all three? No. Register now. Fine. I'll check out again. Um, Snowball. Unless you want to use a real name so they don't think you're a troll. Not your real name, just a real name. Okay. There you go. Um, sessions. Sessions. Impact room. Impact room. As a non-parent who's interested in parenting, I think Gross. one of the strategies that I've heard around parenting in general is to talk about the hard things, right? And so like if you, for example, are white and you're raising a, a white kid, uh, you need to talk about talk racism. About you have to. You have to talk about like uh, you know these these issues. And so I think it's kind of the same thing. Now it, you, it's got to be age appropriate, but you know checking in with your kids, talking to them about you know about proper etiquette online. Like what does that look like? What's not appropriate? Your kids. Talking. You know, getting into. Um, if you watched our session, Eve was talking about like the sort of holistic, multi-tiered. Uh, look at games. So, you know, it's not just what are people saying online? What are the communities? It's also like, what are the games saying? What are the messages they're getting from Check there? Your and, kids and really trying to drive home critical media literacy, um, especially intersectional feminist media literacy into our online spaces, into our Biden's so dementia. Our folks Is this can, modded? Um, I don't know. Get, have, be, have more tools in their tool belt, right? You're going to send them out the world. You want to give them as many tools okay. as they have. It's really about, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, when, yet, when no, parents no get uh, notified, it? like get Here's advice right on how to deal with, with um, their kids and their media consumption, it's about engaging with them directly. Like, I can't even fucking like recopy it. Right? And, and, and do oh, did I get deleted finally again? Up through the time when they're in Yeah, I got school, deleted. Right? <laughs> so this is the only Racist. place where you want to be a helicopter parent or you want to be a helicopter teacher, right? <laughs> um, it's against all the instincts that we <laughs> that we have. But it's, it's, um, it's processing that with them. So, hey, this interaction looks kind of weird. You know, can you talk to me about it? Why do you think this happened? Or... Um, and, 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 uh, I, need, I need to get paid. Uh, so really walking. Gone. <laughs> yeah, they have me on a list now. All yeah, right. you probably should have used like an actual and, and name instead of just Snowball. No, it was it was definitely the... Uh, and, and also that you're a resource. It was definitely... Right? You Be the resource for these kids so that they know they can come to you if they're confused or concerned about something because usually there's a moment... It was the content for sure, not the name. Where yeah. That would happen no matter what. Yeah. Weird. But if they don't come talk to you, they're just going to go down that rabbit hole. Oh, yeah. did LJCs get yeah. immediately deleted okay, too? Okay, so there are a bunch of questions yeah. in chat. So I'm going to just kind of try to go from the top down uh, yeah. and as appropriate. Wait, um, wait. So, so wait. There, Natalie Wick says, I think the chat in the talk was a good indicator. I, I didn't see the chat in the <laughs> talk, so I don't know what I uh, <laughs> So cool. Um, I'm guessing it wasn't great. So um, how do you build tools for the mental health resilience to carry on your work in the face <laughs> it's of still the there. trolling? It's still there. Um, I do want to say that I try not to use the word troll. Um, just this is an aside. I try to call things what they are. Are, you, are they talking about what's going on in the chat? I guess they are. Call it abuse. Trolling yeah. is a very specific type of online interaction um, that is not always harassment. Yeah, deleted. It so is LJ. So, so is LJ's. Yeah. Um, so how do you build tools for the mental health resilience? Um, when I think about building tools, I think about like infrastructurally, Ugh. but I think you're kind of asking my own personal take of how I've succeeded. Yeah, in this let's space. get out of here. I think um, this is it, eh? I, yep. Are you are you um, done with this fucking nonsense? I was done from <laughs> like, the moment it I, started. It... <laughs> Can we leave now? There's no. The last thing I want to no, go to. No. 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 I know. I know. I know. I want to go back to bed. What's in? The, what's on? What's on? Design. Don't and... give no shits about this. Meet the founder. Or the funder, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I don't wanna. Where were this where did the schedule go? You accidentally exit out of it. Yeah, but what okay. Yeah, but surely Death. still on the on the site. That's crash override. I wanna go home. Okay, so we are at which one? Warning against pandemics. 
Oh. We have all this content to go through. No, I'm Look leaving. Look at all this content. I'm leaving. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here. I'm leaving. Just wait. I'm leaving. Let's, let's do the show outro because, yeah, I'm done too. All right, so. I'm leaving. <sighs> Fuck this shit. That was terrible. Um, <sighs> I knew that waiting for Anita to be there would probably be when I finally fucked off because, Christ, the whole thing Three was terrible. Three days of shit. Three whole days. Guys, do you want us to co-stream all this fucking nonsense? I'm leaving. All this fucking nonsense? I'm leaving. No, we're not going to stream this, Odin. No, I'm fucking done. Yeah. Like, okay, was there any actual E3 content? Um, No new games were announced. They showed some games that they thought were good for intersectionality in the past year. Yep. Um, they just had various keynotes yep. and conversations about social justice in games. Yep. That's what this was, yep. and that's what this is. Look, look, look. The unifying power of video games, dude. Games can heal the world, all right? <sighs> Building for inclusivity, you know? Addressing ethics in the games industry by somebody who I, I fucking looked into and discovered that they're actually, like, terrible. Kate Edwards, all right? These are, look at all these. Gamifying social distancing, dude. Look at all these shitty talks I'm tired. This is Game of Gate reunion stream just a bit, eh, Torber? My fucking god, dude. Also, I love how all the fucking tech was just awful. Like, there was... They could have just pre-recorded all of this shit, and they could have just had, like, the people on standby to do a chat thing if they wanted to. You know, like, being like, hey, you gotta be here at this time this day, you know, and you're gonna talk in a chat right after this. And then nothing would have gone late. But no, they're all fucking stupid. Like... Here's who's paying for the event. Yep. Facebook Gaming, the ESA, Epic Games, Niantic, National Endowment for the Arts, Korea's uh, game agency, NTI Building a Safer World, Lego Ventures, Bigglesworth Family Foundation, New York Council on the Arts, Gaming Malta, Twitter, Ubisoft, Chanel Games, Academy Shell. of Interactive Arts and Sciences, said the Shell, IGDA, Headstream, Gay Gaming Professionals, Entertainment Technology Center, uh, Child's Play, IGDA and NYC, NYC Media Entertainment, NYC Media Lab, pay, Play to Prevent, Playcrafting, Yale Center for Health and Learning Games, VR Voice, The Nonprofit Times, and Our Lab Building 22. Huzzah. All of these... Okay, half of these are companies that you should be boycotting anyway. Mm -hmm. The other half are like... The other half are like various agencies probably run by CEOs who are pushing shit. <laughs> just, just using their fortunes to do it. And then you have Child's Play, which was actually half decent up in home now. I hate video games. Yep, me too. Everything's trash. Why is Korea doing this This is to us? fucking terrible, dude. Who knows? I just... Can we just stop now? Can we just leave? <laughs> is this a good place for a gamer slash streamer as myself to network on since I'm an end user only? Well, um, I sure did it. Yep. And I sure turned your shit show into at least my bit of content that is fucking torturous. Oh, God. I'm all, I, yes, 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 I am. Yes, it is. Uh, ben is always sleepy. Me go, please. A weird guy. Me too, man. Also, what, what, what's that little thing? What's what's this? FFZ supporter. Oh, thanks for being here, everyone. As always, if you want to support the stream so we can continue to make such amazing content as this, you can hit the sub button and then Shut promptly... The just, just, just... And then promptly hit the trigger to insert the bullet into your brain cavity. <sighs> Fucking hell, dude. Stop prolonging it. Just fucking end it. End it! Do it. Do it. You want some? You want goldfish? Ah. 
found him. Oh, 